Hello everybody! I know there's kind of like a delay on YouTube, so I'm just gonna like wait a second till you guys can see me. Because I don't know if you can! <laughs> so like, give it a minute, because it's like so delayed. It's like, you see me, tell me. I'm just gonna post that I'm like live. see me hello there general kenobi okay uh <laughs> how's everyone doing today welcome to the stream i normally don't you know live stream on youtube but i figured i would do it today you know once in a while i kind of like hop on in here and do a live stream how's everyone doing you guys good how's your saturday Just to make sure everything's working good. You guys can hear me good. Everything's great. Let me like turn the music down. Turn that down. Okay. But hi! Hello! Happy Pride! Thank you! You guys are doing good? That's good. I'm glad to hear that. Um, so today we're going to be playing a new game called Killer Frequency. And I've actually had an eye on this game like a while back. Because you know me, I love choice-based games. But basically we're playing as a radio host. It's set in 19... I want to say 1987. Not really sure, but it's in the 80s. We're playing as a radio host. And we get a call from somebody asking for help because there's a serial killer on the loose and basically we have to guide them to get them to safety and the choices you make can either save them or kill them or who knows it might get me killed i don't i don't freaking know but i figured this would be really fun to play uh you guys can help me make the choices too so hopefully we'll do the right thing and um yeah i'm just looking forward to see like what what the outcomes can be because I've heard that this game is pretty cool. So I'm like really excited about it Have I been on live on twitch recently? Not since the PlayStation showcase If you want to know when I'm live on twitch it, The best course of action is just look out in the community section on YouTube My Twitter or my discord Th those are the best options for you if you want to keep up when I'm live All right, I'm gonna I'm a set up the game, but I'm like, really excited. Gotta love the 80s as someone who was born in the 80s. No, I, I, I do think it's like interesting. Like there's so, there's like a wave of like things that are like based in the 80s now, like so many movies and TV shows and now video games. This is the first stream of, of mine you've been to. Well, welcome. I normally don't stream on YouTube. I just do this occasionally. If you guys want to catch me like regularly, I'm, I mainly stream on Twitch. That's where I normally am. <laughs> but I was going to search up the game so I can like read more about it. Oh, I was right. It's 1987. That's when it takes place. 1987. No, this game is on Steam, Xbox, PlayStation... Let's hope I don't. I, I probably. I let's be real. I'm probably gonna kill this guy, whoever's calling, and myself. <laughs> That's probably what's gonna happen. Most likely. Okay. Let me. Let me start the game. I have to make sure I have like chat open because sometimes, YouTube YouTube Live is kind of weird sometimes. So I'm just gonna make sure it's open so I can see you guys talking. All right. I don't know if I can use controller. I might just stick with mouse and keyboard, but you know. Hi, Wish! How are you? Steam is updating. Yes, I'm drinking bubble tea right now. <laughs> okay. Where is it? Oh, no, I pressed the wrong game. Shit. Okay, press one in chat if you think I'm gonna kill somebody. Press two if you think I'll save them. I wanna, I wanna see the odds right now, what people are thinking. 
I love your Pikachu in the back. Well, thank you. Thank you. I'm melting. Same. It's fucking hot right now. I don't want to go out. I was just out there. It was freaking hot. <laughs> Is this like welcome to the game? I don't know if it's similar to that. It's just I know that we have to, you know, pick the choices to save the person. So I guess in a in a sense. All ones. Oh my god, somebody's gonna die. I'm just I I'm picking for myself. I'm gonna kill somebody. <laughs> I'm gonna kill somebody is gonna be horrible. Oh god. Alright. Let me start the game. I hope it's not loud in my ears because sometimes when i start a game on 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 steam it just it just becomes so loud oh my gosh am i lagging oh <gasps> no don't lag don't lag don't lag ah hang on is the stream lagging i can't tell because the obs is lagging i gotta fix the settings So this, uh, this game's got multiple endings? Yeah. Okay. Uh... Hang on, hang on. Window mode... Oh my god, frame limit? What the fuck? Look at that. Hang on, guys. I'm just, I'm just changing the settings right now. <laughs> no lag? It's lagging a bit? Lagging, lagging? Yeah, it's because the frame rate was, like, super high, and I'm like, I don't need it to be like that. <laughs> hang on a second, okay? Are we okay? Are we good? Are we good? So to make sure we're okay. Hang on, I'm gonna refresh my um Okay. Okay, as long as we're good for now, okay. I'm just making sure. I'm gonna turn uh I don't know how if I hope there's no copyrighted music on here, because if there is, it's kinda bad for me. Um I'm gonna turn the music down though just in case. Okay, and if at any point during this it seems like I'm lagging or something, let me know and then I'm I'm gonna try to fix it, okay? Should be okay. I'll make sure I have subtitles on for you guys too so you can read everything. Okay. Alright, let me turn off the 80s music. Sounds great, but we gotta turn it off for now. First time on my stream, well, welcome, Davey. Hi. Thank you for being here. Let me set up the game. Killer frequency. Okay. Can you guys hear it okay? Do I need to make it louder? If I need to make it louder, let me know, and then I'll I'll fix it. Oh, hi, bear. What are you doing? You guys haven't seen bear in a while, have you? <laughs> he's kind of he's licking my knee right now. Hi, bear. Bear, bear, bear. bear come here. Up. Show 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 YouTube where you are. Come here. Say hi to YouTube. <laughs> Say hi to YouTube, Bear. I think he's shy. I think he's a little bit shy. You shy? You shy boy? <laughs> Am I planning to finish Danganronpa? Yeah, at some point. I just, I, I just, if I'm being real, I just got overwhelmed playing it because it's a really long game. It's a long game. And it's like, it, it's really, really hard for me to record because I can't, record for that long like I used to, so I'm just taking a break from it for now. Bear got big, he did! He's almost as big as Clem, it's crazy! I swear to god, like yesterday he was like so small. <laughs> he looks so grown up, I know, my baby. He's grown up. <laughs> okay, let me do like an official intro for those of you who are just joining the stream. So we're playing Killer Frequency today. I'm going to give a shout out to Team17 for giving me a, a game key too. So thank you so much for doing that. Uh, this is basically a horror 
choice-based game. We're playing as a radio host set in 1987. We get a call from somebody asking for help because there is a notorious serial, serial killer on the loose right now. And uh, we just got to help them. And hopefully I don't kill anybody or myself because I think it's possible to lead the killer to the radio station. So I also may die. I hope I don't get that ending, but we'll see. Anyway, <laughs> let's start with the new game. Oh god. Oh my god, wait. Is this, so, it, um, it, is this okay for you guys? This mouse sensitivity is crazy. What the hell? Um, let me turn that up a little bit. That was kind of like weird. Hang on. <laughs> let me fix this. Oh god, no, no, wrong way, wrong way. Nope, 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 nope. Make it 42. We'll do that. How's that work? I hope this is okay. Oh my god, this feels so weird. Can you guys hear the game okay? Just want to make sure. Do I need to make it louder? Oh, pick up objects. Ooh. F to drop. R to throw. Oh, shoot. How do I... Oh, hi, Clementine! Clementine's below me now. Oh, I can just put it there? Oh. Okay. Mouse sensitivity is so weird. I'm sorry. I, it just feels so weird to me right now. I don't know why. It seems so high. Okay. Why am I in an alleyway? This is creepy. I thought I'm a radio host. Am I going to work? Oh my gosh. Oh, hell to the no. Hello? I will throw this at you. Whoever's whistling. Stop it. Oh my god. I'm gonna get killed out here. Wait, what? Oh, crouch is... Wait. Okay, crouch is control. Okay, okay, okay. Oh! No, close it! Oh my god. Am I in the radio station? What? What? I can't move! killer's victim. Well, that was a way to uh, start the game. All right. You, uh, you hear something, Peggy? Huh? Hear what? I thought I heard someone yelling, or, I don't know, how? Forrest, is this a joke? No, I, <laughs> I almost swore I heard something. Oh. And here I was thinking you finally started to ease up. You probably just heard some cats outside. Cats? Oh you know, no, that was outside our work. Tails, outside our dogs. office. <laughs> I know what a cat is. But I mean, does Gallows Creek have a stray cat problem or something? <laughs> Not since the rats moved in. Anyway, you ready to do the pre-flight checks? It's September Seriously, 3rd. Do we have to do these checks every time? And do you have to call them that? Reggie pays us to check the equipment before each show. And he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. But if you're sure you don't want to... Okay, um, do I need to take a tutorial on how to- Yeah, sure, I mean, I don't freaking know. Alright, fine. Let's get through this. Alrighty, this is your captain speaking. Really? Come on, let's have a bit of fun with it for once. Buckle in, folks. We're about to hit some tubular rents. Let's start Girl. with- Girl. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Grab a record, stick it on the player, and hit play. Okay, Easy. what do we got in here? David Scopo. The flow. 
the late night lurkers, storm riders. Stab the twilight, the word. Uh, Forrest, the hang-ups. you need to grab a record and stick Okay, it on listen, the I'm table. looking at them, okay? Sure, I'll just grab this one. How do I How do, how do I How do I The record box is on the left and the record player is on the right. Pick a record and stick it on the turntable. Okay, then yeah, I play. I understand that, but how do I How do I do it though? Girl, help me out! How do I, how do I put it on the thing? Uh, Forrest, you need to grab a record and stick I it did. on the turntable. Girl, I swear to God, I'm trying. Like, there we go. Oh my God. All right, we got it. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Got it. <laughs> Now turn it off. All right, up next, phone line buttons. Your captain will be waiting to take your call <laughs> on line one. Uh, line line one, okay. All right, Peggy, ready for you on line one. Who's Peggy? This is Captain Donald Key calling. Call me Don. You get it? Yeah, it's a riot. <laughs> Great, and button two works just the same. So. Let's move to the Peggy button. You mean the producer line? Like I said, the Peggy button. Press it when you need my help during the show. Hmm. Is there Peggy, a I need your Peggy help. mute button? They haven't invented it yet. Now, come on. The Peggy button is the third one on the phone line. I labeled Girl, it. Girl, I'm you. pressing it. <sighs> Press for Peggy. This is your brain, Forrest. Sorry I made you such an unfun turkey. I'm a turkey now, am I? Okay. Are we almost done? <laughs> Sound blaster next. That's an easy one. Wait, what? What? <laughs> Sound blaster. Front of the desk to the right. There we go. Oh, Always okay. Always good for a cheap laugh. All right, we're almost done. Just the volume sliders left. These should let you affect pretty much everything. But let's test it with a record. Play a record and change the volume with the music slider. All right. Seems to be all working. We done? Okay, cool. Captain? <laughs> we sure are. Coming in for landing. Local time? Ah, uh, should not encourage you. I knew you had a fun oh, wait, side. Wait, can I throw this? It's Come my on. fun side that gets me in trouble. Damn it! Now, let's get the show started. After your introduction, our first segment is Guess That Scream. I thought that was Damn a Damn it! Nope, and don't blame me for this one. It's Reggie all scream. the way, and he demands we do it tonight. Guess That Scream? Okay, That's a bad idea if there's a three, serial killer out two, there. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, Bear, don't start. Good evening, Gallows Creek. This is your host, Forrest Nash, and you're listening to 189.16, The Scream. Oh, that's our radio Before station we name! Tonight on Gallows How Creek's fitting! Only late night phone in talk show, I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. Guess that scream. This is actually one of the station manager's better ideas. Damn it! Here's how it works I'm gonna play you a scream, then you call and. Guess that scream. We need you to guess why they're screaming. Did what? they stub their toe, saw off a finger, or discover the corpse of a loved one? Oh, God. Now, Forrest, hit them with the tape. We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. <laughs> Would you guys call it to guess that scream? What do you mean, play the tape? I used to have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Here in Gallows Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. Come on, I gave it to you yesterday. What tape? These? Forrest, you do have the tape right. I don't know. We were doing this tonight. Peggy, let's be real. Guess that scream is a terrible idea. No, I, I don't have the tape. It may be a stupid idea, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. We're going to need a scream tonight, Forrest. 
and you're the one at the mic. So. I have to scream? This is a terrible idea. Wait, can I pick up these? No. What? Oh. Are you serious? I won't do it. I hate what I've become. <laughs> I used to go out all across America, and now I'm just screaming into a mic in a backwater town. Jesus. Come on, Forrest. Just do it. That's enough dead air already. Just think of a scream and let it rip. Oh, God. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm back. I had to step away there for a second. Listen close. I like that he has his radio voice. Guess that scream. Yeti, fall from cliff scream, drowning. Is the fall from cliff uh, scream the Wilhelm scream? Guys, which one should we do? Which one should we do? What does the drowning scream mean? What does that mean? <laughs> if he yells at Lincoln Park, I'm going to get copyright. He can't do that. Well, folks, there you have it. And if you get it right, you could win two tickets to the amazing Maze Maze and one free fried dough. What was that? Just call in at 555-239-KFAM with your guest. Now, here's some music while you get dialing. Oh, shit. Should I introduce the song? Yeah. Now it's time to go with The Flow. And I'd be a terrible it, DJ. For help. <laughs> the oh, name of the song. Oh, Forrest, that was amazing. Oh, thanks. Thanks. I can't wait to hear what people think. So it reminds you of Firewatch? Yeah, Loki, it kind of does. How the hell did I get into this mess? <laughs> Lighten up, Forrest. That's going to be the highlight of my week. Damn it. Did I score? Wait. Oh, Forrest, there's a call coming in. Oh. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. All right. How do I answer the... Oh, here we go. Welcome to 189.16, The Stream, caller. You're talking to Forrest Nash. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest, thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. I'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. Okay. Okay, shouldn't you be working? Leslie, I've got to say I'm always happy to have a caller, but uh, shouldn't our 911 operator and police dispatcher be minding the phones? What? Oh, Forrest, you have no idea. Listen, I found a body. I need your I'm not help. a cop! I'm a DJ! 911 is calling me to report a body. Interesting setup. All right, I'll bite. What's the punchline then? Forrest, I recognize her voice. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. I think this is real. Peggy, I'm not gonna be happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. Forrest, I really don't think this is a prank. You should call the sheriff, not Leslie, me. If you're telling the truth, you should report this to the sheriff. What was his name? Sheriff Andrews or whatever? I'm at the sheriff's office right now. Wait, what? Sheriff Matthews is dead. What? Sheriff Matthews is dead? I yeah, right. Why would you call her? Department. That's never happened before, so I came to the station and I found him. Oh god, poor Sheriff Matthews. Wait, what time Do you is know it? What happened to him? Someone got him. Someone got up very close and I really don't want to say what they did to him. Did he fight back? I don't know. I think he tried. He's surrounded by bullet casings. I think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but... Damn it, I can't go out. Oh, shoot. Hi, sorry. Uh, where are the other officers? I don't, I don't understand. Where are the other officers? Do they know? Have they secured the scene or, or <laughs> whatever cops are supposed to do? No. I checked everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here. But she's knocked out, tied up, and locked in a holding cell. Huh? I told 
you right after I found her. God, wait. Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Don't be ridiculous. So where's the we rest of them? But Officer <laughs> Gunderson is on leave in Cancun. Leslie, do you have any idea who could have done There's this? only three cops? Not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. Low key, the caller Leslie, is kind of weird. We need to call over to Henderson yeah, or Quiet Ridge. Kind of agree. They need to send someone over from their department. I tried, but I can't call anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. I'll have to go there myself. Let them know what's going on and bring help back with me. But if you leave while there's a murderer on the loose, who's gonna man the emergency line? We That's are. Why I called. Forrest, I've routed all 911 calls. I'm a radio host! <laughs> what? This is a bad idea! No, I'm sorry, but this is a terrible idea. What on earth made you think to do that? You're the only person with experience manning a This phone town must be really here. small. They only have three cops. The only person equipped for the job. Besides, there are lots of transferable skills between the two. I guess? It's like an interview. You ask questions to get information you can use. Keep people talking, you know? Guide the conversation and know when to jump in. You do know that I'm so good at interviews, they sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? So I've heard. But that doesn't matter. And besides, there are two of you. You can talk to each other, discuss ideas, work together. Well, let's have We're not cops. Hello? <laughs> I have an emergency. I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. It looks like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Is there any way you can reach the keys? Yeah, no. like get a stick. There aren't any bars to the cell, and the door itself only has a food tray Oh, slot. it's not a... And that's it's just the door. For me to reach through. There's gotta be another way in. Try breaking the door down. I don't think so. Find another way to the cell. Find. What about? Do they have copies of keys? Is that a thing that they do? They There's must. There's gotta be another set of keys somewhere in that office. Those can't be the only one. Of course. Yes, there must be another set. Where might another set be? On the sheriff. Maybe Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys on him when he, you know. I couldn't see any at a glance, but. I didn't really look up close. Girl, you're gonna have to t look at One him. One second. Oh, I think I might be sick. Sorry, Sheriff. I'm just gonna turn you over. Oh, and... God! Oh. Please don't stare at me. I... Oh, wait. That might be them. I, I, th I think I got the cell keys. Looks okay, like open Sheriff it. Matthews might have saved his deputy. Do the keys work? They do. Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. Oh I'll no. Right so far, so good. I She's suppose. gonna get locked in there, isn't she? How are you feeling, Forrest? I I can't handle this all night. I think we can handle this. I'm going. <laughs> I'm going this is a prank. I I swear to God, Peggy, if this is some sort of joke, I'm leaving this town. I've never heard of anything like. Like I would leave too, honestly. I've never heard about anything like this either. But I'm we're quitting. Here now for That's it. it. I hand in my resignation. I'm getting out of here. Come on, Martina. There we go. I'm just gonna sit you in your office chair. I'll head to my car in a minute. I'm back. Deputy Martinez is still out cold. You sure she's alive? I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. If the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck. It's the right thing to do. You're leaving? We're on our own? Oh, God. I, I don't even think this is the right thing to do. You're just leaving us. You mean we're going to be on our own? Just Peggy and me and no one else responding to emergency calls. You'll be fine. You and Peggy just work together like you did earlier. You can do this. Now, I'll be back as soon as I can. What? My car! My car is on fire! What do you mean it's on fire? How the hell? Did it just go up in smoke? What happened? Wait. Oh, that whistling! What? No, no way. This can't. Oh, well, Forrest, we have big trouble. What's happening? Uh, what's that noise? It sounds like whistling? Whistling? <laughs> I just play music. It can't be. Oh my god. I can see him, but he's dead, right? Right? But that mask, how the hell is he? Who, Leslie?
Leslie? Who? The Whistling Man! The Whistling Man? Who's the Whistling Man? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Wore that mask. It's probably a but coffee he's cat killer. He's... What the hell? Oh, God. Do you think... Do you think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? He's coming this way! Leslie, stay inside and lock the doors. Right. Shit, we need a new plan. My car is torched. We need to think. I'm not good in horror situations. Heidi is not good. Is it? Neither is Run. What do I do? There should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Like you should take one of those. I. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Let me check if Martinez has any... Uh... Just reach into your pocket there, deputy, and... Yes! Got him! Did I fuck her over? Just I don't know. Car three. I saw that parked out front when I got here. Nice one, Forrest. Good thinking. But... Wait. How am I supposed to get us to the car? The whistling man is right there. <laughs> Oh. Sheriff. The sheriff must have a gun, right? Can, can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Let me grab it. I... <laughs> Just the like sound effects. He must have emptied it trying to defend himself. Uh, can you see any other weapon? Are, are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. Um, uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's belt. All right. Woo! I made one. Looks like the whistling man left her with a baton. Doesn't she have a gun? True, right? right? I can only hold one if I'm carrying Deputy Martinez. Which should I take? Oh God. Um. Honestly, the taser you could miss pretty easily, can't you? But pepper spray, I feel like you can go like, like a, you have a bigger range, or the baton. I'm gonna say pepper, pepper spray. spray. Should be easy to use and carry. Take that. Got it. I'm just going to grab Deputy Martinez and then. Wait. Do you hear that? No. no. I, I can't hear anything. Exactly. It's gone quiet. No more knocking. Maybe the no. He did not leave. This man fight. You guys yeah. are crazy. The taser. I, if she misses, that's it. Open. You only have one I've shot. If you can hear me, it's time to move. Just lean on me. <gasps> yep. There you go. Are you sure about this, Leslie? I just realized this guy has a fucking mask. I should have I should have told her to take the baton! I killed her! I killed her! I'm like the present, right? So Oh god, I Here killed her. Again, you're hooked into dispatch now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. If I reach it. <sighs> oh god, girl, you're dead. I killed her. Well, good luck. This is the part where the killer comes out of nowhere, isn't it? <sighs> you know, I've got to say this really wasn't what I expected when I came into work. Oh today. yeah, you're you're totally well, right. She's a 911 operator. She's not a cop. Everything in live radio. Oh, I think we've got Leslie back on the oh, line. Okay. I'm putting the call through. Hello, Forrest, Peggy. This is Leslie. Are you there? Over. Uh, we're here. Over. We're here, Leslie. So I, I guess you made it to the car then. Over. Sorry about the CB chat. Old habit. But yes, we made it to the car. Deputy Martinez is in the passenger seat still out cold. I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. So I'm going to get us moving. Jesus! God damn it! Get, get back! I killed get her. her! Leslie, what's happening? The whistling! No! Get off her, you son of a bitch! Girl, just leave her. I'm sorry, but you gotta leave her. No! 
I'm an idiot. Why did I pick that? Leslie, what are you waiting for? Get out of there. Martinez. God damn it. Leslie, you need to hold it together right now. Forrest. He slit her throat. Oh, he didn't kill her. Leslie. He killed the we other cop. This happened again. Peggy's right. We've all got our part to play now. How long do you think it's going to take to get help? Gallows Creek is a Okay, one death so far, guys. Keep track. It's going to take a while, maybe two, three hours each way. Slightly less if I put my foot down. That long? You better floor you it! Girl, floor it! Get over here! We'll see when you're back. Thank you. I'll be back as fast as I can. I All killed right. one person. Oh, I, I can't believe this. God damn it. I need a minute. Hang up and pretend like nothing happened. I'll be out of range soon. I'll radio back as soon as I can. Hi, Alex. Once I got the cavalry. Oh, God. Please be careful. Take care, Leslie. And be safe out there. Good luck, Leslie. <sighs> Now what do we do? Folks, you heard it here. We've got a killer on the streets of Gallows Creek tonight. Please make sure to stay safe. And Leslie, we're counting on you. We're going to get back to the show, meanwhile. <laughs> if you have anything on your mind or have any information about this Whistling Man character, then give us a call. We'll talk here on 189.16. The Scream. For now... Here's another hit record for you all to enjoy. Oh my gosh. No, I don't this want to restart. But when I play choice-based games, I always commit. Insane. Did she really say it's going to take her four hours? This guy's going to kill half the town in four hours. Forrest, that's not helpful. I know, I know. I just... <sighs> Who is this Whistling Man character anyway? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Edward Marshall Lewis. I don't think it's the same guy. It has to be a copycat killer. Whistling and killed about a dozen folks in Gallows Creek. No reason for it. No motive. He just... Did. Oh, God. Did I get any in the basket? Hell yeah. Okay, what happened to him? And he's coming back tonight? What happened to him? Okay. What happened to him? Well... Police chased him up to Alice Point one night. We call it Whistling Point. And it was, well, it was on this night actually. The police Can I get out yet? Damn it. The river. I want to see what's out there. Never found. So is he alive? Dead? I mean, what's the story? Story is he's biding his time, waiting to take revenge on the town. All right, that's the story. What's the truth? Other than we have a whistling killer on the on the serial killer, I don't know. So we're screwed. So we're screwed because it sounds like we're screwed. We're not screwed. Things just aren't great. Right Girl, now. I don't know. We're radio hosts, and there's a serial we killer the out there. Out, I guess. What kind of listening figures do we get at this time? On a Thursday after midnight, could be around thirty-five. Thirty-five? Isn't thirty-five hundred? Huh. I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that large. No, thirty-five people. At best. Oh. Thirty-five? Are you serious? We only have thirty-five listeners? Thirty-five, yeah. It's a school night. <sighs> and what's the population of Gallows Creek? I don't know exactly. A little Damn, over this a place thousand? is small oh. as hell! How many did you get before? You know. Before my career exploded and I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people? Yeah, before that. Around five for most shows on the low end? Big gas could pump that up to 10, 15, easy. 5,000 on the low end? We could only dream of that. Five million. Million? Yeah, sometimes that's just the way it goes. At least the whistling man hasn't killed me yet, I guess. Yeah. I guess we're gonna learn a lot about perspective tonight, huh? Oh, we have a call coming in. Oh, take it when you're ready. All right. Time to turn the music off. Oh. 
Hello, caller. You're live on 189.16. Is this the killer? The scream. Is everything uh, all right? Ew. Okay, uh, who is this? Are you, uh, hello? Hello? What the fuck? <laughs> Sir, do you need an inhaler? What the hell? Okay, what's your name and why are you calling in? You're not the whistling man! You know my name. This guy can barely I whistle! Come back from the dead to kill again. No one's safe. Do you accept any requests? <laughs> Do you accept requests? I've got a list of names I'd love to see in the obituaries. Oh, maybe you must make a sacrifice to us. This sounds like some sacrifice teenager. <laughs> us. I, I mean, me. It's it's a teenager. It's a teenager. <laughs> Him off. Yeah, cut him off. Cut him off. Yeah, cut him off. Uh, Can I hang up? For anyone just tuning in, we do in fact have an actual killer out on the streets tonight. Anyway, this next one's dedicated to all of you staying inside with your doors and windows locked. <laughs> into this next track from Late Night Lurkers, if you dare. Peggy, what the hell was that? Kids pretending to be a killer who right now is stalking the town? It's a thing. That's a stupid. Thing? Ugh, kids around here. They pull pranks pretending to be him. By pretending to be this whistling man character? They think it's funny, but it's not. Those kids are gonna die. And there's no chance that our whistling man was just a prank. That Leslie... No, that, that's real. Christ. Let's stay positive. We still have a show to do. We already have another call. Oh wait, where are we on the map? Oh, we're right here. Oh God, I feel like we're gonna have to guide somebody if they're gonna run. We have a call waiting. Oh shoot, okay. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. What? I, I dialed 911. I need the sheriff right away. Hey, okay, I'm right. the sheriff well, I'm telling today. I'm <laughs> 911 tonight. What's your name and what's your trouble? Uh, my name is Sandra Sharp, and I need the cops now. Oh, fuck. Okay, um... I'm sorry, but the cops aren't coming. Leslie's on her way to Henderson for help. What? Oh, God. Listen, you've got to help me. You, then. you guys got to help me. For jazz run, and now some psycho dressed like the whistling man is after me, knife in hand. Okay, where are you exactly? Where are you it's exactly? It's actually happening. Where are you? Okay, uh, where are you now? Where are you now? Did you escape to somewhere safe? Oh, I did, baby. I jazz ran all the way to my car and nothing flat. But I dropped my key somewhere. Where are you on the map exactly so I can help? I've got a place to hide, but I can't get moving. Can you go back and find your key? Sounds like you lost them. I think you'll be fine. Is there anywhere else you can go? Is there anywhere else you can go? Do you have any friends nearby? Oh, well, I'm not going back out there. I. Girl! <gasps> Guys, I'm gonna kill her. You need to wire it. I'll wire it. I don't know how to do that. I don't. <laughs> if it helps, I've got a toolkit buried beneath my spare sweatbands. I'll call you back when I find it. Girl, what? 
Hey, was that go? Listening to 189.16, The Scream. Hosted by me, Forrest Nash, your friendly neighborhood radio host, mechanic, and savior. You sit tight while the record spins, folks. This one goes out to you, Sandra. Doesn't the station have a show about cars? The Tamora Twins or something? Timberline Twins Talk Motors. Yeah. You know I don't know. Is brothers. that possible that, like, like a town way. this small has, like, three but cops? I have no idea. It's weird. I asked them about it. She said it she was on a jazz run? Really what does that mean? Expensive. Anyway, go see what you can find. The offices are out the door and down the hall. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, hey. Cool. Hang on. I want to look at our stuff. I know this lady's in danger, but, like, cool. We got, like, things we can look at, guys. Diet exclusive. Oh my gosh. Okay. There's the bathroom. Sorry, I'm making sure there's nothing creepy in there. That's so creepy. Okay. So many locked doors, so few keys. Hello? Is this our office? Oh, I don't like the music! Stop! Who the hell is that guy? Sorry guys, I'm just trying to like look and see if there's like anything I can pick up. Um... This has to be important. Okay. Twins, I've borrowed your car theft magazine. Pray for me? Oh, shoot. This, right? No. Wait, do I just take this? Oh. Hang on, let's see what's in the drawer. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, let me bring this back. Yo, I don't like the atmosphere of this. <laughs> I know we're like, we haven't left the building. But this is so weird. Not getting in there tonight. Why is everything locked? Can I stick this somewhere? Okay. Let me put that down. See what else I can grab. Because I think I can only hold things one at a time. Alright. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get the magazine. I, I just wanted to bring that note into the office. Bring this to. I'm gonna bring this and put this in. Oh my gosh. Let's see what else I can grab. I'm sure there's like more notes, because it looked like there was more notes on the table anyway, so let me read those two. I, I fully expect to, like, open this door and the killer just standing there. <laughs> okay, um... Did I look at this? Do I need this? Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh... You know, can I like, you know, I'm going to take one of these just in case, just in case, like what if we get attacked? I'm going to bring this. Just going to, I just need a weapon in the office. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put that there. If 
find anything? I found a note. Good. And did you find anything else? Uh... Wait, what? Remind me what I'm looking for again. The caller is trying to start a car without the keys. Ah, uh, yeah, and we have a car show, right? Timberline Twins Talk Motors, yeah. I'm gonna search again. Thanks, Peggy. Was that not it? Is that not it? Do I need more? Cause like the magazine's the only thing I can read right now. Let me get the screwdriver too. Fuck it. I think that's it. That must be. I don't think you can fix a car with a magazine. <laughs> Listen, listen, we gotta be hopeful, okay? <laughs> Isn't hot water? No, it is possible that, but the thing is, we don't know how to do it because we're a radio host. You find anything? I found a note. Good. And did you find anything else? I'm done looking. Let's just get on with the call. You sure about that? Yeah, let's do this. Oh, fuck if it. You're sure. oh, I'm gonna kill her. I'm gonna when kill her. Shut the music off. Caller on line one. Thanks, Peggy. We're back with 189.16. The scream. How are you holding up, Sandra? The creep's looking through the parking lot trying to find me. But I've got my tools, and I'm ready to get this hunk of junk moving. How do we start this baby? Okay, put the screwdriver in the ignition, twist it clockwise, unscrew the steering column, hit the steering wheel- oh my god. This doesn't sound- first of all, don't hit the steering wheel, you're gonna make noise. Girl, why- how do I open this? What? <laughs> um I guess unscrew, right? Unscrew the steering column. All right. Just turn. Just turn. One, two, one, two. What the hell is she talking about? You're doing great. Tell me exactly what you see. Do your jazz breathing. Don't panic. Do your jazz breathing. Don't panic. Okay. We can do this. There's a red wire. A blue wire. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Hang on. Wait. I'm so sorry, guys. Wait, wait, wait. What the hell? Hang on one second. I just realized my, like, thing was on. Hang on. Let me fix it real quick. Um, okay, so I have a question for a chat right now. Press 1 in chat if you think I'm going to kill her, and then press 2 if you think I'll keep her alive. Just curious, you know. No no, no real reason, just wondering uh, if you guys think I'm going to kill her or not, you know. Because uh, we already killed one person. So, just curious. <laughs> Yellow wire, a green wire, and a brown wire. Okay, strip the wire... Girl, I don't know. What? I don't know. Ah, uh, uh. Oh my god, this can't be it. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. I can't leave! Oh no! Oh no! Is there a way I can like- Oh, here we go. How do I open you? How do I open it? Is there no way I can open this? Strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. Alright! We take the red and the yellow and we twist and we turn. Oh, perfect. I also see pink and purple wire. What next? Hmm. 
How do I open this magazine, guys? Is there a way I can open? Hang on. What's your controls here? Hello? What are your controls? Interaction. Inspect? I pressed E? That didn't work? Oh god! Girl, I'm gonna kill her! I'm gonna kill her! Oh no! Um... Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna kill her! Oh my god! Wait, do I just... No, that's not it. Okay, wait, let me put it on the table. Hang on a second. Dude, I'm gonna kill her! How do I open it? Well! <laughs> Place it where I had the note, maybe? I mean, like, I don't... Uh, does it really matter? Does it really matter where I place it? Yo, Peggy, help me out right now! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna kill her. <laughs> the radio host and the, and the killer is actually competing with who can kill the most people. <laughs> It's actually true, for real. Um, okay. Expose cable into the ignition. This is not helping. Wait. Bro. I'm, I'm, str <laughs> I'm straight up gonna kill her. <laughs> I'm straight up gonna- Let me look this up. What the fuck? Oh my gosh. How the fuck do you read this? Under the mic? Wait, oh, sorry. Guys, you gotta bear with me. YouTube has a huge delay, okay? So, like, chat is, like, really late. I, I mean, ease the interaction button, which I'm pressing. It might be too late. She's gonna die. <laughs> She's already dead. She's fucked. It's too late. Y'all, yeah, this is speed run on how to kill somebody real, real, real quick. Oh, there we go. I'm stuck. Um. Hi, Clem. I think she's dead. I think she's dead. Peggy, help! Put the black thing in front of the keyboard, I think? What oh, black thing? Oh, on here, you mean? Is <laughs> there no cops? All of them are dead, and what is on vacation? <laughs> this game is gonna kill me. <laughs> is she even on the call at this point? Girl, I don't even think so. I don't even think so. <laughs> I'm dying.
dying. This is funny. Okay, I got it. Okay, so here. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh my god. But like, how do I inspect it? Like, how do I open it? That's all I'm like wondering. <laughs> Try putting it upright? Oh, like, like, uh, oh shit, hang on. Wait, huh? Oh, I can have switched hands, okay. Wait, how do I do that, though? I don't think I can rotate it. <laughs> I can't, I don't know how to, how do you rotate it? I do, I should have played with a controller. Why did I do keyboard and mouse? Like, I made this so much more complicated for myself. How the fuck do you, like, rotate it? Rotate object. Zero number? Wait, what? Hang on. It's, it's not working. Like, to rotate it, it's not working for me. Watch out, Clem. Is it too late to plug in my controller? Maybe this will work. Let me see if it will work. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> oh my god. This is funny though. Okay. Let's see. How do I... Wait. How do you rotate shit? Interact. Move it. Place object. Yeah, but it's not like... Is that the... Yo, aren't you guys glad you're tuning into this stream? Like, where I'm like just confused on how things work? I can't rotate it. Strip the purple wire and twist onto the exposed cable. Oh, you're a lifesaver. Oh, She's oh, dead. I'm sorry, ma'am. I killed you. I'll just strip that wire and... I think we can all agree that was a shocking ending to this call. <laughs> Did I get the wrong? <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I killed two people. Hey. Just lost one of its own. Everyone, please stay home. Oh my God, bro. Stay home. I stay see. Safe. I'm not a cop. Okay, I'm a radio safe. host. This next track is dedicated to Sandy. <laughs> Taken too soon. Let Storm Riders take you on a rock and roll ride with the Glam Jam. <laughs> I still can't believe this is happening. Right? Dude, like this Gallus is so Creek funny. Is have enough to worry about. What do you mean? Gallus oh my Creek god. Is a miserable place to live. Really? Miserable? <laughs> I'm gonna kill everybody, guys. I think I'm the I'm the whistling killer. <laughs> Oh God. Peggy, be honest, it's a dump. There's nothing to do here. Hell, I'm almost ready to thank this whistling guy for at least making things interesting. <laughs> well, I like it here. People are polite and... <gasps> Ass backwards. Don't be awful, Forrest. Come on, there must be Fuck it, I'm gonna like be unhinged place. during this playthrough. Screw it. After a while, you don't even notice the smell? I guess that's nice. Smell? What the? There's no smell. <laughs> You've lived here your whole life. All right, life. I'm being an I asshole, guys. <laughs> I know. Anyway, 
I hope the killer is done for the night and that Leslie gets back soon. Me too. Can we at least call off that stupid guess the screen contest now? Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. All right, it's only been 42 minutes. Caller on line one. Oh, wait. Why can't I? Hello? I suppose I should take this call. The mouse is like. Oh, I guess it's because my controller is plugged in. Hang on. Let me move that. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. Hey, Forrest. My name is Brian. Uh, uh, Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Ponty's Pizza. Oh, down here. He's down here. Okay. Um. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. He's what right here. What do you got to say about Next what's Next to the, uh, the fire station. Oh, I'm so sad that Deputy Martinez didn't make it. I saw her a lot over the years down here at Ponty's Pizza. Just terrible. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to thank you for doing your best. So, I'm sending you some coupons for free pizza here at Ponty's Pizza. Just a um, something to look forward to. Can you just give me, um... Wow. The Brian pizza Ponty itself? <laughs> of Ponty's Pizza. That's really good of you. You really don't have to, though. Oh, it's the least I can do. Yeah, I kind of want pizza now, too. like it? Well, you're in luck, because we're always running great deals. We'll have you eating for pennies. Sounds great, bro. And let me tell you, the pizza we have is to die for. Oh. That was pretty tasteless, I have to say. I'm sorry, Forrest. <laughs> well, I just hope I didn't put you or anyone else of coming on down to Ponty's Pizza. I think this guy just wants to promote his, his restaurant. Our famous beer and pizza deal. Wait a minute. Come on down to Ponty's Pizza this weekend. You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself. God damn it. You're just calling in to advertise your shop. Mm -hmm. well, Peggy, hang up on him. Done. Oh, real quick, before I forget, it's probably time we played a paid ad. Now, a word from our sponsors. You know how to play an ad, right? No. Nope. In flight check time. Christ. Our <laughs> captain would like to remind you that the station is required by law to play advertisements from our sponsors. Grab a cassette and stick it in the player. Oh, does it matter which one? Uh, sure, I guess. Done. Teddy Gallows Jr. is a family man, a devout Christian, oh, God. and a proud patriot. Teddy Gallows <laughs> Jr. is Gallows Creek. Like his father and all his fathers before him, Teddy Gallows Jr. has worked hard to create jobs, improve infrastructure, and make Gallows Creek a good place to raise a family. Unlike current mayor Linda Cartwright. Oh my god, it's a political ad. <laughs> he's our neighbor, and he stands with our neighbors. Like Sheriff Matthews, who, after years of keeping the peace, Mayor Cartwright is trying to force into early retirement. Teddy Gallows Jr. doesn't believe in keeping a good man out of a job. Teddy Gallows Jr. believes in the American dream. Okay. Oh, like Linda Cartwright? Help Teddy Gallows Jr. keep Gallows Creek a good American town. Help him become mayor. You guys gonna vote Take for him? For Gallows Creek. Vote for Teddy Gallows Jr. My name is Teddy Gallows Jr. And I approve this message. Oh, God. God, what a jackass. 100% grade A asshole. Linda Cartwright isn't super herself, but she's not... Yeah, we don't have any more of those ads to air tonight, do we? No. Just the one. Thank Good. God. I have to ask, though. 
Take a swing for Gallows Creek? Oh, he set the home run record for Gallows Creek High. Uh, of course he's one of those guys. Yep, he played lots of sports back in the day, and he never lets anyone forget it. Right. No! Let's just get back to the show. Well, folks, hearing that reminds me that every vote matters. That ad really made me want to take a swing at Teddy Gallows. <laughs> you mean take a swing for Teddy Gallows? Yeah, sure. Let's find out from our next caller who's got their vote. All right. Welcome to the Scream with me, Forrest Nash. Yeah, it's called yeah, Gallows Creek. This Hello? is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs. And Horace Nash? I want to speak to 911. Put Leslie on. What? God, another one? Wait, where are they? Shit. Hang on, hang on. Okay, you're you're the reporter, right? Where's the reporter at? Oh, here, here, here. They're right here. Okay, okay, okay. I am 911. At least for tonight, anyway. Damn it, son. I don't care who you are. Just put me on with Sheriff Matthews. He's dead. Sheriff Matthews is dead. Dead? What happened? Did you witness the incident? Are you willing to do an interview for the reporter? I can cite you as an anonymous source, if that's a concern. We're live on the air. Anything we say can and will be broadcast. Live on... Damn it. All right. Obviously, a lot more going on than I know. Yeah, you, there's a lot happening tonight. You said someone broke in. That's nothing to get worked up about. Some idiot kid just broke in, dressed as the whistling man. Oh no, I'm gonna kill another guy. They get worse every year. Nah, this punk wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye when Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. But I was there. I covered it. Maurice, I don't know what's going on, but he's back. The whistling man is back. Don't be an ass, Nash. Every year this happens. Should I just let this guy die? He don't believe me. Old man. But they didn't live through the terror 30 years ago. Anyway, I know for a fact. Edward Marshall Mooney dead. I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. But if he killed Sheriff Matthews... Where are you now? I'm in the boardroom. Upstairs. We got security cameras all around the building. You can watch them on any TV set here. Okay. There's a set in the boardroom. Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Ah, I sure as shit hope so, kid. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinets. He's blocking the stairs. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out? That's right. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. But what? All we can do from here is... Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? They'd have a bunch of phones set up across the office, right? Oh. In different rooms with different extensions. That's kind of an interesting way so to we do call it. Call one of them. Draw the killer away. Buy Maurice time. That could work. Exactly. It's worth a shot. I can hear you, you know. The son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. Guys, Sorry, trust, Maurice. trust, trust. I, I can save this man. Trying to figure out. <laughs> Realize how stupid that plan is. Uh, do you want to die? I can let you. For that to be successful, you're gonna need every phone extension, plus a plan of the entire office floor, which you have, right? All delivered while the killer is en route. I've got it. Thank God, I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go anywhere. You, you don't think the killer got him, do you? 
Mr. Russell. I'm here. Freak's going to be here any second, too. Go check your fax machine. Don't let me down. Fax machine? Okay, okay, okay. Let me go! Oh, wait. Uh... I'll go pick up that map then. Go, Forrest! The fax machine's in the office on the other side of the hall. Thanks, Peggy. Be right back. Why would I ask? How do you know our fax okay. machine? Go to the office on the other end of the hall. Grab the fax from the machine. Oh, Easy. Yeah. This must be it. All right. I got it. Let's see if this this time will work. Um. Oh. Hey, did you get the fax? Yes, I have. Mr. Russell, you, uh, you still with us? I am. You get my fax? Yes. Yeah, I got it right here. Good. I knew you could at least manage that. Okay, Please don't folks, insult me, we're sir. We're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him avoid the whistling man. <laughs> situation. The whistling man searched every room in the hall waiting okay. up in the board. Now he's in the office next door. Office space. It's now or never. His plan of yours. So I need to call extension I'm four. My end, Forrest. Again, we want to draw oh, the killer sorry. away by dialing an extension number, and then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, what extension should I call? Wait, where? Where is Maurice exactly? Where did he say he was? Where did he say he was again? Do you guys remember? He's upstairs, right? And we need to move him away from the... From the staircase. So I gotta call, what, the editor's room? Oh my god, I'm gonna kill this guy. I'm gonna kill this guy. I'm gonna kill him. Call the editor's office. The extension is zero three. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? Go to the kitchen. Go to the archives. On second thought, let's delve in. Wait. If I put him in editors. Go to the kitchen. You're moving to the kitchen. Yeah. That makes sense. Go somewhere he's already checked. Oh my god, oh my bad, god, I'm gonna kill him, I'm gonna kill him. I'm ready to place the call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? Make the call. Yes, sir. Calling now. I can't believe it! He's actually- Bro, stop yelling! Just go to the kitchen! It was all Peggy's idea. Credit goes to her. Ah, uh, don't mention it. The coast is clear. Okay, go, go, go. I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security camera. Good, good move, good move. Then, making my move, I'll call when I get there. Do you think he'll make it okay? Dude, did I'm I sure kill him? Be fine. But now what do we do? We gotta find some way for him to get past that barricade. What do you mean? I don't think calling the whistling man is gonna buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. He, can he not jump over them? Else. Yeah. Maybe we could. Oh! Call incoming. You ready? Uh, yeah, do it. Ready as I'll ever be. I put him through. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? I am. I don't think he saw me. Oh my god. I gotta give you credit for that. But I'm not Thanks. out of the woods yet. Yeah, I, I'm just. Oh, right, God. let's review where we are. So, the only way out is by the stairs, which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Exactly. I can move the furniture out of the way, but not quickly or quietly. Can you fight him, maybe play dead? Can you lock him in a- Ooh, what about locking him in a room? Could you lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. Damn fire regulations say every door 
destroy the office has to unlock from the inside. He'd be able to get out just as soon as... Wait. Wait, wait, no. No, no, no. I got it. The secret archive through my office, where we keep our most sensitive records. Ooh, a secret archive? Reggie would love that. What have you got back there? Juicy secrets about outer space? Uh, conspiracy oh, yeah. fan? I didn't know you were into conspiracies, Peggy. I may have borrowed a few tapes from our manager's office. He has quite the collection. Will you two chatterboxes pipe down? I've got it all figured out. The secret archive. There's no lock on the inside of that room. Only the outside. You can't break out. If we can get him in there, and I lock him in... We can catch the son of a gun. Exactly. Oh my god. Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. So should I call the secret archive then? You can't. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. So we don't have a phone in there. Oh. Okay. We're going to need to change Well, it's connected. I, it's Any connected ideas, to the Forrest? editors. Right? Is there a TV in there? Use yourself as bait. Use a radio? Ah, shit. Is there a TV in that room? Maybe that could draw him in. Ah, of course. I turn it up, he comes in, and I get my head chopped off. Think you have, like, a remote? <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. He's got to use himself as bait. Uh, maybe you could use yourself as bait? Absolutely not. Are you sure you can't? Don't be a horse's ass. Alrighty, then. New plan. Maybe we could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret archives. Are there no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office, but... What is it? Our sports reporter, Hopkins. He has a little portable radio he never turns off when he's here. Um... Hey, I hope he's a <laughs> I'm glad you got a radio fan there. I hope he's a fan of the show! 9.16, The Scream. Gallows Creek's best and only late night Colin show. Jesus, Nash. <laughs> I'd expect that level of self advertisement from Brian Ponty, not you. Hey, Don't I still a got a show to run. Forest. That's low. Will you idiots focus now? His portable radio should still be here. It should be in the archives, actually. I'll sneak over while our friend still distracted with his search. I'll call you back once I've got the radio. Okay. We're gonna save him, Forrest. Don't Peggy be so Bush, sure, Peggy. I might kill him. Town. I might kill him. Okay, don't get she excited yet. To do before we celebrate. You're gonna Let's jinx me. I swear first. to God, she's gonna jinx what me. What do you mean? He's not out of there yet. He's still gotta find the radio, unblock the stairs. I know, but we've got a plan for how to do that. And, oh, Call incoming from the reporter. Putting it through now. Nash, hello? Nash, are you there? I'm here. Is everything okay? I found the radio. I know, right? They get off, off topic so fast it's and there's a guy together. getting I'm chased by a serial killer. <laughs> sure it's still got some juice. Um. Maurice, turn the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, yeah, I knew that, Nash. I was just doing that when you yelled at me. The radio works! If I make it out alive, Hopkins might just get that day off he wanted. Eh, he's earned it. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. Wait. Ah, oh, god damn it. What? If I can't have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw the killer? I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead! You just... Oh, that's a good point. But wait, we're the radio. We can just be quiet until you're ready. Eh, if you can do that, then... Yeah, sure. 189.16. Now, even when I know something for a fact, I like to double check. But after your earlier self-advertisement, Nash, I don't think that's necessary. I've got the radio on silent, but I'm tuned in. Now... I just need to get to my office. Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. 
Where should we send the killer? Oh, crap. Um... Archives, I guess, right? His board- it, his boardroom is his office, right? Right? Oh my god. Cause he's in the kitchen right now. We need to go into the editor's room. So archives? <laughs> I'm gonna kill him! I'm gonna kill him! Oh my god. Uh, shit. Okay. Archives. I'm gonna do Call it. Call the archives. The extension is zero one. The, oh, wait. Wasn't he, in the, wasn't he in the kitchen? Keep your head on, man. <laughs> I thought he was in the kitchen off, still. <laughs> My bad, bro. You go. Uh, kitchen, Call the kitchen, then. The extension is zero two. That could work. The kitchen is far away from the editor's office, but the killer searched it before. Are you sure? Oh, for fuck's sakes. Let me have a think again. Call the boardroom. The extension is 04. That might work. <laughs> the boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office, but we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? I'm sure. Make the call. He hasn't okay. been in there yet, right? Call in the boardroom now. All right, chat. Am I going to kill him? One for yes, I'm going to kill this guy. Two, he's going to escape. He's on the move. I'll call you guys from my office in a second. Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Any idea what you'll say to draw the killer in? Oh. I'm gonna do my best impersonation of Maurice. I think that'll draw the killer in. What's your Mr. Russell impression? I think I gave that mask freak the slip. Oh, well, actually, it sounds pretty close to him. Uh, I'll give you an A for effort. No, he Ooh, sounds pretty good. In. Here we go. Radio set up in the secret archive. Just give me the signal, and I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? I am. Uh, uh, good question. It's under my desk. He sounds like a uh, uh, J. Jonah Jameson. I think that's the whole point. I got a big <laughs> cabinet, but uh, that'll take me a second to get into. Parker. Anywhere else? Uh, I pay you for those pictures. What does he say? <laughs> archive itself, but uh, you're fired. <laughs> I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. Your judgment is... Oh, what the fuck? What do you mean? Ash. What do you reckon? Hide under desk, hide under cabinet, hide inside the secret icon. I don't know! Um... Not the cabinet. Among the cubicles. Because, like, is under the desk too obvious? But like the cubicles is kind of like the same thing, is it not? Th but this is far away. Oh shit. Oh shit. Hide under the desk. All right. Well, this is it. I'm going to go turn the radio up to full blast. I think I killed him. I think I Don't killed him. Say anything. Until I've had time to hide. You got I think it. We, killed him. we know the plan. You can trust us. Here we go. Uh. Hey, whistling man. Jackass. Forrest, I don't think that was enough time <laughs> for him to hide. Wait, really? Oh, shit. I just killed him. Um, I thought he was already under the desk. I didn't know. <laughs> I, <thought he laughs> I thought he was gone already. Oh my god, I killed the man. Out of print. 
Let's put on a song. <laughs> How do people do time to recover? I think that would be for the best, Peggy. <sighs> Folks, we'll be back soon. <laughs> if you have any stories about oh, Maurice that you'd oh like my to share, God. give us I'm a call. I'm <laughs> the next track. I'm fucking crying. Oh shit, hang on. Time to go on the journey that is Blast Processor with their hit song, 1980X. Well, I, I think I'm the serial killer. <laughs> oh, really? I feel like it's going pretty quickly to me. I could ask you some questions to speed things along. Oh, God, this interview. is so funny. You sure about that? You're not so scary. Besides, we've been working together <laughs> like a week now, and you're still all shrouded in mystery. Um. I'll regret this, but okay. Question one. Tell me about your family. What? Come on, Peggy. That, that's too general. Okay. Death run, let's Did go! Did <laughs> anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? Nope. Now that's too specific. Too specific? I... Do you have any siblings? I don't. I'm an only child, and my folks are dead. Oh, damn! I'm sorry, Forrest. Uh... Don't be sorry, I'm not. Oh. Jesus. Anyway, what about you? Any siblings? Your mom and pop still around? Are you I sure that I'm this guy isn't a like serial killer himself? I'm just making conversation now. Oh. Well, my folks went the same way as yours. Oh. What happened there? My dad walked out when I was about 13. He'd been a wreck for a while. Then he got himself into a wreck. Well, that was dad. Mom didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. She wanted to forget dad so bad. She even made me take my stepdad's last name. So I'm Peggy Weaver now. Anyway, Mr. Weaver got sick one day and my mom didn't last long after he went. I'm sorry to hear that, Peg. Don't call me Peg. Yeah, sorry. I was just trying to be... It's okay, I know. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying to score three baskets in a row. Damn it! Any siblings? Funny you mention that now. No. Not anymore. I had a sister, but I haven't seen her since before my dad. Hold on. Someone just rang the door buzzer. Really? Think someone needs our help? Maybe. You want to go check it out? Me? No! You sure you don't want to go? No way. I'm locked up tight in here. I'll pass you the key to the stairs. Gee, thanks, Peggy. I'm gonna die. The buzzer's on the front door. See you in a bit. Okay. Down to the first floor, then check the door. Wait, where's the stairs to that? Guys, I'm gonna die. Oh, hell to the no. Well, that was ominous. Did you see that guy walk away? A oh. tape. Play me on air. Play on air. Okay. We lock these doors, right? Creepy. Close the door. Close the door. <laughs> who was there? I didn't see who it was. Are they still out there? No. They left as soon as I went down there. They pushed a cassette through the door. It says, play me on air. All right. Well, turn the music off and play it. Hello, Gallows Creek. Time to pay the price. Time to pay 
for Lyle. Time to sit there. I will punish you. I'll... I'm going to enjoy this. I did not enjoy that. What the hell was that? Time to suffer. I... Oh, Forrest, we're still on air. Say something. Folks, the... Oh. <clears throat> Folks, the tape you just heard was passed through our door only moments ago. I don't know how the killer could get from the newspaper to KFAM so quick, but... Unless it's Be multiple careful, people. Creek. Stay home Doing and stay it? safe. Give us a call if you need help. You can get us on 911. Now it's 1 a.m. Damn. Thank you again, Mrs. McKenzie, for the helpful tip. The bagger at the grocery store cannot whistle. We'll remove her from the suspect list. Let's go to a break. <laughs> I need you for a second. All right, folks. We need to take a quick break. This one's for all those folks out there keeping the hatches battened. It's funky. It's groovy. It's <laughs> stabbing the twilight by knife and easy. All right, Peggy, what's up? I pushed a cassette under my door. Go play it. Uh, okay. Wait, am I not allowed to go now? Okay, here we go. Play Ace Up off air, okay? Oh, wait. Threatening message? That was Roddy Snatcher, Forrest. You know, Roddy Snatcher? No? Who? Are you a big fan of Roddy? <gasps> I love Roddy. I will always find you was my song. I wish we still had it in rotation. Oh my god. I can't believe you know Roddy Snatcher. And I can't believe you didn't tell me he sent you his new single. We have to play Final Breath. Where is it? I don't know. They mailed it to KFAM, not to me. Then it's gotta be downstairs at reception. Man, I can't believe Barbara didn't say anything. I mean, well, if that fiasco last Friday about the missing Wait, knife is the killer track, some guy who didn't get his song played on the radio? <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> I think we're still missing a few tracks, actually. Well, go get Roddy's song before Gina sues the pants off us. Hey, did you get it? No, not yet. Any ideas where it might be? If it got mailed to the station, it's probably still at reception. Check around there. Thanks. All right, let me go downstairs. Down the creepy hallway. I really don't like that the killer just showed up at the front door. Like, that makes me so uneasy. So creepy. Okay, reception. Okay. What the hell is this? Oh, that's just the radio. Let's see what we got here. 
I don't know how to say anything other people. Wait, what? I think we should see other people. I hope we can still be friends though, Brad. You owe me five bucks for the festival ticket. <laughs> okay, I can't read that. Sorry, I just want to look at everything. Um, I need a key to get in there. Alright. Anything that I can get from here? Notice board. Hey, that rat trap! Okay, it has to be here somewhere. Where the hell is it? Um... This must be it. Final there breath. My tiny selection grows. Did I drop it? Wait, what? Where'd it go? What? What? Did I drop it? Please tell me I put it up there. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I dropped it or not. Find out. Oh, I didn't drop it, okay. Hey, did you get it? Got it. Let's get this on the air. Ah! Gallows Creek, I'm pleased to say we're in for a much needed treat. Up next, courtesy of the British sensation himself, is a track you won't hear everywhere. Here's Final Breath by Roddy Snatcher. What a fucking name. Wow. God, Roddy's the best. He is. And more importantly, we should be safe from the worst of Gina Franklin. Okay. I'm gonna get another caller that I'm gonna kill by accident. <laughs> and I think that's every time I've seen him live. Peggy, you just talked through the whole song. Oh, whoops. It's okay. I can just play it on loop later. Do oh, you shoot. think it's a little suspicious that every time you answer really an emergency call and things you need to do to help people is in the KFM? It's so sus. True! That's actually a good point. Okay, Forrest. Shut the music off. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16 The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand-in. This is Murphy! <laughs> Hello, Murphy. Uh, what have you got for us tonight? Two things, Forrest. First, happy birthday to my son, Fernando. Hey, happy birthday to your day. son, Fernando. Man, being his daddy has changed my life. I've learned how to live, how to laugh, most importantly, how to love. Aw, happy birthday, Fernando. Uh, 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 happy birthday. Happy birthday, Fernando. <laughs> Thanks. And now, my other thing. I'm putting the word out to this so-called killer. You think you're tough, huh? Big man with a big knife, huh? Ruin. Are you asking me to get killed? A true warrior. Have I played seven days to die now? Um. Are you gonna kick his ass, Murphy? God damn. This man's gonna die. <laughs> the junkyard dog. Oh no. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Every night, I can feel my leg. And there he goes. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your fingers crossed for Murphy as he tries to become our hometown hero. 
Anyway, we'll be right back after this commercial. Do you seek ancient wisdom? Do you want to double your power? Are you ready to unlock your inner warrior for only $24.99? Then, step into Master Robbie's deadly dojo of Kung Rate and receive direct by video warrior instruction from me, Master Robbie. You will learn the four qualities of an ultimate conqueror. The power of the alligator, the discipline of the tarantula, the speed of the tuna, the poise of the scorpion, and the wisdom of the bullfrog. Using classified techniques, I'll unlock your inner chi after only five 30-minute video sessions. Ultimate power and wisdom can be yours now for the low, low price of only $24.99. Just call 555-7861-USA to take your first step to becoming a champion. Never forget the element of surprise! If you buy today, you'll receive two additional VHS tapes. The Tornado Technique and Karate Love Me. That's so funny. Today. That's so funny. Do people really buy this kind of thing? Don't pretend like you're not interested. Twenty what is twenty four ninety nine? But I'm not What a them. steal! Okay. Yeah, I bet karate lovemaking sure is something. Uh, I, uh... <laughs> is Forrest Nash at a loss for words? Ma'am? <laughs> Let's just get to the show. Wow, what a deal. Only twenty four ninety nine, And I'm not just saying that because they're paying for the airtime. Just ask Murphy. But unless they pay us more... Then it's time to get the show moving along with our next caller. Next caller! Call. Am oh, I muted? Sorry. What? Am I muted? Wait, can you guys not hear me? My mic's on. It's not muted for me. Can you hear me now? Are we good? Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me. Boris Nash. Okay. <sighs> Who's there? Who is this? <sighs> Are you okay? Do you need help? Forrest? He called me? Wait. That horrible. Is this Leslie? The phone. He's coming for me? Jesus. Hey, listen, Collar, don't panic. We've done this a few times now. We can help. I'm gonna you. kill her too, guys. <laughs> so, you saved them, or? Sure. Sure. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna kill this you. lady. Can you tell me your name, Collar? I'm Dr. Sullivan of Virginia. Sorry. Take some deep breaths, Virginia. You're gonna be okay. Okay, Thanks. Chad. Do you think I'm gonna kill her? Press well, well, one in the chat if you think I'll kill her. Down. Press two Tell if you think I'll where save her. You are right now. What's your address? I'm, I'm, oh God. <laughs> it's your next victim. Um. Maybe you can hide in your house. He'll find me. I know he'll find me. Is there a neighbor you can call for help? You live by a frat house. Yes, they're having a party. And takeout coming in all night. Fun covered in beer cans. They're getting wasted. And I'm about to get... Oh, God. Virginia, what's the name of the frat? It's... Oh, God. I can't think. I, I can't... Any idea what the frat might be, Peggy? If I knew where she was, I might know. But... Wait, the takeout. If we can get takeout to the frat, we can get a message to them to go and help. True, Virginia, good point. Who did they order takeout from? I don't know. Uh. Come on, Virginia. Try to remember. I can't. 
pizza? The pizza guy? Huh? Well, folks, seems like our Virginia hung up. While we try to figure out what takeout to order, here's some music for your own midnight snacks. Hope you enjoy this one as much as I do. Peggy, what places do take out in Gallows Creek? Off the top of my head? Uh, well... There's the barbecue place, Grilling Spree, and you can order from Chalupa Cabras. Okay. Oh, and of course we have Hanti's Pizza. I think it has to be That's the pizza, right? Alright. We'll call each place and ask who they deliver to tonight. It has That's to be the pizza to guy. Take out client privilege. What? Huh? There was a lot of competition back in the day. Things got ugly. It's a long story. But what we can do is this. We figure out where the frat boys order from, call the takeout pretending to be from the frat, place an order, and include a note asking them to call the station. <sighs> right, it could be multiple There's places. No other way, is there? Not that I can see. Alright, let's go. <laughs> I hate this town. You know, it's things like this that make me hate this town. Complain after you save her, Forrest. You got any suggestions on where to look? Check the offices for anything food related. And maybe the kitchen downstairs. You'll need a key for that. I'll just slide it under my door now. Thanks, Peggy. God, where to start? What would um, make me order from somewhere if I were a partying frat boy? I swear it's pizza. You're the food critic, right? Chad or Brad? Oh or, wait. Uh, I just have to look around. Okay, let me go to the other offices and see if we have a food critic. But I just swear it'd probably be a pizza. Okay, not you. Okay. What does this say? Chalupa Cabra. Hmm. Chalupa Cabra, I guess. What is Grilling this? Grilling spree. I better see what's on this tape. Okay. Um, I think that's it. Maybe. Okay, let me see what's on the tape first. I don't know, if I were part of like, a front, I imagine you'd order pizza, right? It makes more sense to me. <laughs> Great party, man. <laughs> Thanks. Can I grab another beer? Hey, sure thing. Let me grab you one out of the fridge. Oh no! I've got a beer! What am I gonna do? The party is going to be over! Fear oh, not! <laughs> what? I give you a free six pack of beer if Dallas High wins this Tuesday. Say what? That's right. Order a meal deal from us and you'll get a free six pack of beer if Dallas High wins. A free six pack? Right oh, that's definitely something they would want. Six beers. High and they did win, right? That was in the newspaper. Me too, Billy. Me too. Come on down to Grilling Spree. I'll call off 555-749-8335. Okay, Grilling Spree. You'll die for. Um, okay. A free six-pack. Huh. I wonder how well Gallows High performed. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Forrest. Do you know what the Grill Reaper's favorite grilling spree order is? Uh, I have a feeling you're gonna tell me. Spare ribs. Christ. Ha 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 ha. So funny, Peggy. Hey, <laughs> find anything useful? Um. Wait, let I'll me. Go and let me again. just double check. All right. Don't take. Let me just long. double check. Virginia needs our help. I want to double check because like I killed that other lady with the car, and then somehow I fucked up with the other one. Go Gallows High, I guess. Yeah, they won, so it has to be it. They won the game, so it has to be that. All right, let's give it a give it a shot. Hey, find anything useful? Yes, I have. That's great. Are you ready to get back on the line? Uh, yeah. 
Let's make the call. Time to turn the music off. Okay, Forrest, what'll it be? The grilling it's spree. Called grilling spree. Okay. The Grill Reaper is on the line. You're through the grilling spree. We've got barbecue you'll die for. <laughs> this guy sounds so. Um. Fratman calling. We are in major need of foods for dudes. Uh, can I just have your order? I want ribs, big ribs, for my frat house brothers. Right. And where'd you want that delivered? Uh, same place as before, you know. The frat house. Same address? All right. We'll get it to you soon. Oh, and, and one more thing. Can you add a note to the order that says to call KFAM? A note? Okay. You better tip for this. Yeah, sure. I'm sure they'll tip and you. And now we wait. Okay. We should put a song on. Agreed. Oh. This one goes out to our delivery workers. It's David Scopo with Moonlight. All right, guys. You think this will work this time, or I'm just gonna kill this lady by accident? <laughs> She's a doctor. I kind of need Which to keep of her the alive. Which takeout places would you order from? To save Virginia? No. Wh where would you actually eat? Oh, I mean, they're all pretty equal. Equal? Equally awful? You mean equally awful? No, equally good. But if I had to order, not Ponty. He's not Ponty. Right. So between grilling spree and chalupa cobbers. I mean, it depends. Do I want a plate full of meat? Or do I want really, really good? Is nachos? that all they sell? I just can nachos? On the day, you know? Yeah, fair enough. Uh, Nothing else? Right. Hold that thought, Forrest. We've got a call coming in. Oh, okay. Okay, Forrest. Shut the music off. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Uh, this is Dudley from the Brotherly Fraternity of Engineers. Fraternity um, of Engineers! Call you. Hey, weird question. Uh, but you aren't the only ones on your street tonight, are you? No, sir. Uh, I think everyone on the street is in tonight. Uh, yeppers. Uh, I've just visually confirmed it. Uh, I see cars in the driveways. And a couple of lights <laughs> on. Uh, everyone's in. Yeah. Oh. And you've not been throwing a loud party all night, have you? I certainly hope we haven't disturbed our neighbors. Uh, why do you ask, sir? Forrest, we have a new call coming in. I killed her. It's not the right place! Because she said there's no one home on her street! Are you fucking serious?! <laughs> Did I actually kill this lady?! Oh my god. Forrest. Line two. Hello, you're live on 189.16. It's fucking the pizza. Stream. It has to be. It's the whistling man. He's at the door. He's... Oh my god. It's you, isn't it? Clive, I didn't talk. Clive? Who the hell's Clive? Fuck, I killed another one! God damn it, I'm not even doing this like unironically. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god. I guess the takeout here is to die for. Forrest, what the hell? That that doesn't even make sense. Uh, oh god. Not listening. I know things look bad. No, lose Please, faith because lose I'm fucking faith. killing everybody. We will stop this whistling man. And I think Virginia may have just given us the clue we need. <sighs> Who's Clive? What was that about Clive I didn't talk? Do you know what she meant? There's a janitor here at the station named Clive. But your guess is as good as mine. All right, folks. Seems we may have a lead. If any of you know a suspicious Clive, then please call in. 
It could save lives. In the meantime, Bro, at this point, I'm just like going <laughs> to... Hello, Collar. You're live on the screen with me, uh, Forrest Nash. It's great to speak with you, Forrest. As a local small business owner, oh, I find this all horrifying. A killer roaming the streets of our fair town. Bro, you better not call in. You're just going to die, too. I hear you there. It's a scary time for everyone in Gallows Creek. How are you holding up? You somewhere safe tonight? Yes, Forrest, I am. I'm here at work in my small business. It's a safe, family-friendly place. Okay, where do you work at? Um... You sure are up late. I guess you must love the work. Oh, I sure do. You know, we're at it all day, every day. And that includes major holidays we've got coming up, like Halloween. And Christmas. What is his business? It's my life. What is your business anyway? Oh, well, I'm not really big on promotion, but uh, since you ask, it's Party's Pizza! Not the this pizza fucking guy! <laughs> hang on! Down. Peggy, it's hang up this call! Cut him off! God damn it, Party, no! No free ads! <laughs> I wonder what would have happened if we called Ponty's instead. Look, he's gone now. We already have somebody else on the line. Oh Just take God. a deep breath and let's keep going. <sighs> All right. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand-in. But you don't want to call me. Hello? Hello? Am I on air? Sure are, caller. What's your name? And what have you got for us tonight? Name's Eugene Stein, and I've got a heart full of love, Forrest. I'm hanging out in the middle of the maze maze, listening to your show. Maze maze. Up the stars and waiting for her. You got a special lady coming out to see you. Yeah. Molly. We plan to get lost. Oh, no. You know in horror movies, like, the couple always die. Where's Maze Maze? Labyrinth. That's why I'm calling, actually. I, I thought she'd be here an hour ago. And since I've listened all night to how cool you play it, I thought you were the perfect guy to ask. Oh, God, what do you want? Should I call her up and ask if she's coming or wait and see? For real, kid? If you've been listening all night, do you really need to ask me? Yes, that's why I'm calling. Go home to your parents. You really need to... Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah, what the hell. Stay and wait. Forrest, that's a terrible idea. <laughs> Look, I think he's gonna die anyway. Go I'm gonna kill home. everybody, your right? parents must be worried sick. My parents are dead, actually. But, uh... Oh, jeez. Yeah, I guess it's not the night. Hang on. I hear some rustling. Molly! Oops. I'm in the middle! It'll take a little while to get here, but uh, thanks again, Forrest. It's been good talking. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Molly Guys, goes. victim number five! <laughs> no, no, this is supposed to be the best night of my life! Not the worst! I, I killed this man. Oh, God, you know the way Eugene, out? do you know the way out? It wouldn't be the maze maze if he could just remember What an maze. idiot! Why would you go to a maze in the middle of the night? Listen, Eugene. Breathe. Hide. And call back in a minute. We'll get you out. I... I'll do it for Molly. Er yeah, are everyone's parents dead? True. Ours? Peggy's? This kid? Well, listeners. While Peggy and I deliberate, here's a track for all you lovers out there. Oh, wait. Um... Here we go. We'll play this one. You're gonna love this next track. How the hell am I supposed to get him through the maze maze? You know, Barbara, our receptionist, she's a maze maze fanatic. She okay. Here. I was supposed to go with her last week. Maybe she has like a like a map or something.
Um. Maybe we should call Barbara then? If she's so big on the maze maze. We could, but I don't actually know her number. But she probably has maze maze stuff somewhere. Go and see what you can find. That'll hopefully be enough. Uh, which one is Barbara again? Barbara, you know, Barbara. No. Uh, Forrest, I've seen you speak to her. Help me out, Peggy. She's the receptionist. Sits at reception. Never does any work because she's talking to Brad all day. Ring any bells? Right, yeah. Sorry, I guess it's just the stress of... No excuses. Just go and find something to help us. All right, going back downstairs. Okay. I think I saw something earlier. Not really sure if it's here. So something she was looking at. Can I read this? Wow! Okay, there. <laughs> Um, ooh, creepy. Bingo. Here's oh, here we what go. I was looking for. Okay. I'm gonna save this dumb kid. Ah! I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him too. Just like 100%, I already know. Yeah, I found a map for the maze maze in the trash. Why was it in the trash? Uh, never mind. It doesn't matter right now. That's a question for Barbara later. Eugene called while you were away. He's on line one. When you're ready, shut the music off. Oh, my bad. I always forget about that. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. I hope you lovers like that track. And I hope we can help our lover in the maze maze, Eugene. I'm not counting on it. I'm going to kill him. <laughs> I'm lost, Forrest. I just ran and I, I don't know where I am. I'm at a crossroad facing a tractor statue. Okay, facing a tractor there are statue. There are painted gold on my right. One, two, okay. Facing a tractor statue. On your right. So he's in the middle of the... Okay, I see. I see. Okay. Wait. What? Okay, hang on, hang on. Where the fuck does he go, then? Wait, where's the... First of all, where's the exit is what I need to know. Up there. Okay, hang on. I'm trying to figure out a way how to how he can get out of here. Uh okay, I think he has to go left. I think. This is gonna be oh, this is gonna be bad. Go left. Okay, creepy rocking horse on your left. Okay. So... He's over here. Hang on. I think he needs to go left again, right? Wait, oh, shit. Rocking horse is on his left. Shit. Go backwards? Go backwards. Right! Why did you bring her to a maze? What a stupid a idea! There's a pitchfork statue up ahead. Which way? Wait, okay, pick okay, crossroad. Hang on, hang on. Um number five. So he's gotta go. You gotta go left. Go left. 
Does the fucking killer have a chainsaw? Bro, stop crying. Just keep moving. A tiny barn in front of me and a scarecrow behind me. Okay, Nothing where's the scarecrow number six? Okay. You gotta go right. Because you're fate. Wait, he's facing. The tiny barn is ahead of him, so he's facing that way. So you gotta go right, go I think. Go right. Oh my god. I can't run. Much more. You gotta do it! I just passed a cordon silo. Okay. Didn't see anything else. He just passed the corn silo. So you gotta Please. go right? Where do I go? Go right. Did I save him? Yes! Woo! I saved one! Oh, thank you, Forrest. I, I love you, Molly! Bro, don't yell! Just go home! That was tense. Yes, I did it! I, think I held my breath the whole yes! time. Yes! I saved I one! Think it went pretty well, all told. <laughs> I think you're right. By the way, why do you think Molly missed their date? She's probably you think dead. She's okay. She's Unfortunately dead. for Eugene, I think she probably never left home. Or that. That's another reason too. <laughs> oh my god, I actually saved somebody, guys. Thank you for calling in, Mr. Walton. We'll make sure to add the town librarian to our list of suspicious Clives. Remember, report a Clive to stay alive. Oh god. Next up for us, so take it away. All right. Collar, you're through to Forrest Nash on 189.16, The Scream. Hey, wonderful show tonight, Forrest. Um, thank you. Well, that's kind of you to say. Thank you. What's your name, Collar? Uh, you can call me Don. Could you play my tune, Forrest? Your tune? Sure. Long Ride Home. That Long song. Ride Home, sure. okay. We got it. Where I think I played it? it the other day. Thanks. It'll be good to hear it again. All right, folks. Wait, what? Coming up is that old classic. Uh, Forrest, I don't think you're going to find that song. Yeah, I was going to say I don't do see mean? it. I played it a few nights ago. I know, but uh, we don't have it anymore. What are you talking about? I threw it away. You threw it in the Why? trash? Why? No, I I threw it out the window earlier today. Why? Uh, and why did you throw it out the window earlier today? Brad was annoying me all afternoon. He played it on repeat because he knows don't I make don't me like go it. outside. So I grabbed it and threw it right out of one of the office windows. Not my. Why would you do hour, that? But I can only. Well, that's our job. Much. Like, why would you do that? For shame, Peggy. For shame. I know. Let's just play a different song. We've got more important things to think about anyway. Gotcha. Okay, folks. Here comes some unrequested music. Sorry about that, Don. Maybe try again tomorrow night. Sorry. I feel like there was something wrong with that lady when she called, though. Like, she sounded... I don't know. Like, something was wrong? Of all the songs to request, why'd it have to be that one? Gee, Peggy, what did the barn finds ever do to you? Wrote that song for one. It gets real old when you're forced to listen to it on repeat for but years. But it's your job. Like what? Request Roddy. <laughs> oh, Forrest, scrap the song. We have another caller. Sorry to cut the music short, folks. Callers take priority tonight. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream. This is Forrest Nash. Forrest. Oh, thank God. It's me again. Murphy. Um. Hey, how'd it go, Mr. Dojo? <laughs> oh, the killer got me, man. I. Uh, why did I ever trust a guy named Master Robin? 
Uh, that's not important right now. Just tell me what happened. Goddamn Mason. He came to the gallows waste disposal plant. Do they all come back to haunt you? Seems like the sign for Cry for Help in the lyrics? Probably. I got a flashlight, but... Oh, goddamn. I smell smoke. I think he started a fire. Hold on, Murphy. We'll call for help right now. You gotta hurry, man. I need someone here now or I'm gonna die. Oh, crap. Okay. Peggy, get the fire department on the line. On it. All right. Now just... Come on, pick up. Hi. Yes, I'd like to report a fire over at the Gallows Waste Disposal Plant. It's an emergency. What do you mean it's not operational? Huh? Why is there no backup vehicle? Why is there, like, anything in this town? That's what I don't he understand. Oh, God damn it. Forrest, that evil son of a bitch slashed the tires on the town's only fire engine. Why do you only have one fire truck? I don't give a crap if five people live there. Why do you have one? What a stupid town! I can't do anything. But I have a few friends who live nearby. Maybe one of them can save Murphy. Where do they live? My friend Alex lives on the corner of Haddonfield and Romero Street. And Catherine lives on the west end of Myers Lane. And there's Jericho on the east end of Myers Lane. But he's... old. Really old. Okay, I'll check the map, see who would be best to do this. Wait, where is this guy from, though? Like, the guy we're trying to save. Murphy? Where the fuck is he from? Oh, my God. All right, Forrest, who should I call? Who can help Murphy? Where is Murphy again? Forrest, really? He just told us he's at the Gallows Waste Disposal Plant. Okay, okay, okay sorry. Okay, hang on. Forgot. Gallows Waste Disposal Plant. Where the fuck is that at? Here. Okay, here. So, um, Waylon Road. But he's old. Didn't he, didn't she just say that? Oh, for fuck's sakes. All right, Forrest, who should I call? Who can help Murphy? Wait, who's who? Who's who? <laughs> what? Who's Who's who? Like, I see it's th these three roads, but, like, who's who? Oh, my fucking god. Oh, my god. Call Catherine. All right. Give me a second. This town is a death trap. No, for real, it is. Way. They'll call from the plant. You can direct them from there. Well, let's hope they get there in time. Oh my god, I killed this guy too. Let me, let me guess. He's dead too. Call coming in. It's Catherine. She and Murphy are now both on the line. Okay, okay, okay. Hello, Catherine, are you there? What, uh, what, what's happening at the plant? The whole damn thing is up in smoke. I... God damn it, I'm going in. What? <gasps> oh, my reception is terrible in here. God, my eyes stink. Go to waste disposal. Got it. Okay, I'm here. I. Oh, Forrest. It's coming down. I gotta go. Forrest. <coughs> Listen. My boy, Fernando. Give him a message. My what? final words. I will. What is it? I I kill him too. Tell him to study kung fu. I'm a real master. Then call Kick Master Robbie's ass. Oh God, Murphy. Was it not waste disposal? Yeah, Fernando will be crushed. Just like his dad. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> poor kid. Of course, that, I wasn't 
trying to set you up for a punchline. Oh my oh, god! Well, I killed another oh. one, guys! <laughs> Murphy, I promise we will stop this. For you and for Fernando. Peggy, it's going to be our... Forrest, it's not. we have another caller. Let's not waste time. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream, with me, your host, Forrest Nash. Forrest, Teddy Gallows Jr. here. Oh, I God, the, the guy running for mayor. and prayers are with my Gallows Creek neighbors. During yeah, I think I, I probably sent the wrong person. Night. Oh, it's mayoral candidate and scion of the town founders, Mr. Gallows. Are you in danger? We need to be a town of law and order. We need cops who have the tools and funding. You don't they have cops, sir. You only have three safe. people, and two okay, of them are dead. Teddy, we... I know. You're an outsider to our little town. Wait, can we hang up this guy? But you're really stepping up the bat for us all tonight. I just want to say thank you for taking a swing for Gallows Creek. Jackass. I want to make sure I get this out on air to all of Gallows Creek. You're a real prick, Teddy. <laughs> I just want to make sure our town is safe and prosperous. <laughs> That's why the Gallows family... Wait, did he not realize that I just said that to him? My father, Theodore C. Gallows, God rest his soul, which employs over 200... Teddy, unless you've got an emergency, I'm cutting you off. <laughs> Oh, Aaron, thank you so much for the super chat. You know what? I do. Appreciate you doing that. Thank you. A problem that's ruining our I hope it will it will bring me good luck so I actually no save another person. <laughs> um Yeah, how about the goddamn serial killer? The problem is that woman, our current mayor, Linda Cartwright. Oh, here we go. You know she what? Maybe he should die. It's fine. One of us. Linda Cartwright is un-American, unstable, and... You're not better than anyone, Teddy. Just because you inherited half the town, it... Your producer sounds a little unstable, too. Don't you dare speak to me that way. Cut him off, Peggy. Yeah, honestly, cut him off a long time ago. This kind of thing will not happen when I take office. The moral decay of... And Thank God. That's enough. Uh, Teddy Gallows <laughs> Jr. for one lifetime. I always feel disgusting after hearing him talk. Just play an ad for us. I need a minute. We'll okay. be right back after these messages. Um. The world famous annual Gallows Creek Harvest Festival is back! We got it all out on Giblet Field. We got the Little Miss Harvest Pageant, Princess Harvest Pageant, Harvest Queen Pageant, Cotton Candy, Corn Dogs, Cornhole, Corn on the Cob, Crokinole, Country Music, Can Jam, Jams, Jellies, Jamborees, Juggling, Roller Rickies, <laughs> Roller Disco Lessons, Praying. We got baby crawling, balloon popping, balloons for sale, beard contest, horseshoes, hayride, hay toss, hey you there, safe donkeys and ponies, <laughs> apple bobbin, firearm, fireworks, funnel cakes, fried dough, sheets, bitten, sand licking, cracker cramming, and cat shop. That's a lot. Of things. Big tattoo, face paint, Damn! Zoo, amaze and maze, maze, square dance and story swap and spelling bee, quilting bee, and sewing circle, pie eating, lawnmower racing, hot dog eating contest, flower contest, and of course our famous gourd measure off. The festival is brought to you by Mayor Linda Cartwright, sponsored by Gallows and Sons Factory and dedicated to the memory of Garrett Miley, tragically taken from us last festival. Oh, damn, okay. I can see why it's world famous. <laughs> it's a highlight Hi, around here for us. Thank you for watching my oh, videos. I am sorry to hear that, Peggy. All right, folks. Welcome back to the show. We have a note from my producer. As That's someone right. who doesn't live Come in the U.S., this the is how I think the U.S. is. <laughs> grab your choice of a KFAM mug, sticker set, or poster. I threw my Let's mug on the ground earlier. Let's see what our next caller would choose. Caller on line one. All right. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Hello? Uh, hello. Caller. Who is this? I need the police. I'm Forrest Nash. I, <clears throat> I'm standing in for 911 tonight. What, what's wrong? There's a guy hunting me in my 
friends. I... I think he's killed some of them already. That's him. He's just outside. I can see him from up here. God damn it. She's just a kid. Okay, where are you? Where are you? Are, are you somewhere safe? Oh my god. Oh my god. You're gonna stay with me, kid. Focus. I, I can't do this. Yes, you can. Focus. Tell me, what's your name? Come on, kid. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Sweetie, you can do it. What's your name? <clears throat> Carrie. Good, okay. good. Carrie, listen to me. We're gonna get you out of there. I, I don't All know right? about that, but we'll try. <laughs> the old murder house. What? Upstairs. Murder house? Where the fuck's the murder house? Where should I go? Wait, what? What? Wait, what? Where should Carrie hide? The bathroom, the bedroom, go to the closet. Oh, for fuck's sakes. I don't know where should she hide? The closet? Go to the closet. Okay, I'll... I don't think we can Don't move No 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 <sighs> So if she runs he'll hear it What the hell is going on here? <laughs> oh, who's on the phone, Carrie? The cops? It's just a joke, jeez. Wait, isn't that... Jimmy, that wasn't funny, you sicko! Of course I called the cops, but, but some guy just answered instead. What guy? Forrest Nash. What the hell are you all doing? It's prank night, old man. Oh, it's that fucking it's guy! Fun. That's the kid! The kid from the earlier! Kid you earlier pretending to be the whistling man. That's it. I'm out of here. <sighs> Jimmy, this is a pretty kid. sick thing to do. What? It's whistling night. That little idiot. Oh my god, this night? notes have been here this entire time. Especially stupid since that one kid died back in <sighs> It's just it's a prank, that bro. That's probably what he's crazy. thinking. Who's under there anyway? Hmm? Is that you, Seth? Idiot! Seth is right next to you. That's, uh... Uh... Wait. Oh, no. Who, uh... Is it actually oh, the yeah. killer? Oh, no, Jimmy kind of deserves to die, Loki. <laughs> oh, he is dead! Everyone, get inside! Oh, fuck! Everyone, run! Yo, Carrie's kind of a badass. You buy time, but not much. Forrest, we have to. Heather, I already called the cops. Forrest picked up. He's the best we're gonna get. Who is with you? <laughs> I don't know if you want to do that. We drove out to the old murder house. Where is that on the map? Of course, the van. Who's got the keys? Jimmy had them. And Jimmy's dead, and he's outside. <laughs> Um Focus, stay focused, Carrie. Focus. Yes. Sorry. Sorry. I'm here. We'll figure something out. Between all of you, there's got to be a way to beat this. Just sit tight, okay? Heather, shut up. If we do that, we're going to get killed. 
Listen, Jimmy had it coming. That kid was stupid. Jeannie, Jeannie McPherson? Our intern Jeannie? Yes. She's my best friend and the smartest one out of all of us. She stayed in tonight. Force, listen. We'll see what we can come up with and, uh... What? Scott, you're not any good at... And... No, no, Chad. Out of all of us, you're not the one to... Everything okay? No. I'm trying to figure Wait. out where the murder house is. We're figuring out a plan. But everyone's volunteering to do things. They're is it this one? I think we can figure it's out an estate. Do. Oh, it is. I'm right. But I don't think we can agree on who should do what. I think you'll have to pick a tiebreaker. Or else these idiots are going to get us killed. But I... Shut up. You... Ugh. Forrest, I'll call you back. But I don't know anything about your friends. <laughs> Ugh. These Bye, damn Thank kids you for never learn. Um. Breathe, Peggy. It's okay. Ugh. They do this kind of thing every year, Forrest. People get hurt. All right, <clears throat> folks. We're gonna work out a way to save Carrie and her friends. This next one goes out to all the trapped kids out there. <laughs> oh my God. Here comes one of my favorites. Right, they could have hey, just gang up on the killer, like the grab a chair here? and beat his Anything? ass. Yeah, Jeannie. Seems a nice enough girl, but a bit head in the clouds, you know? Not sure why we took on an intern. We really didn't have the office space for one. Poor thing got tucked away in a dark corner somewhere downstairs, I heard. All right, I'll go see if I can find her desk. Hopefully Bye, Natasha, thank you for joining. Use. Okay, I think I know where that is, it's that corner. Um, by the front desk. Peggy said her desk is downstairs. Okay. Over here in the corner. This. Jeez. They really tucked Jeannie away. Congratulations on the new job. Good luck. I'm so proud of you. Make lots of friends and work hard. Love, Mom. Aw, that's sweet. Okay, um... Okay. Alone. Friendship quiz. This might work. Oh, what was that? What was that? Oh my god, that actually scared me. What the fuck? What? Oh, I'm getting out of here. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god! Jesus Christ! Alright, let me read this. Most likely to peak. Most likely to win an award. Most likely to end up in prison. Most likely escape prison. Most likely to become an Olympic athlete. Okay. Um, did that scare you too? That was so fucking loud. I don't even know what that was. But the most likely to escape prison. Would that kind of be helpful? Maybe? Please turn over. Oh. Most likely to pass a driving test with an Oscar. Most likely to triple running. Most likely to end up in a car crash. Okay, hang on. Oh, God. That I I'm sorry. That actually really scared me. Hey, you find anything that'll help us out? Yeah, I found a friendship quiz with all these kids on it. If you think that'll help, then good enough. Carrie's on line one, whenever you're ready. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. This is Forrest Nash, back again with an unlucky caller on this unlucky caller. <laughs> an unlucky Carrie, caller. are you there? Yes, we've got a plan, but we can't agree on who should do what. You want me to be the tiebreaker? Exactly. I'm ready. What's the first step? First things first, we'll need a spotter. Someone who can keep an eye on the killer. We'll need someone on the roof. It's gonna be a hard climb. We're deciding between Heather, Kyle, and Hot David. Hot David or Kyle? Most likely to peak Mount Everest, right? Right? 
Guys, hot. I guess I'll. Oh, shit. I guess, um. Hot David can hot go. Hot David. Hot David, I don't know if running up the roof is really possible, but I guess we'll see. Part two The Whistling Man padlocked the gate back to the road. Before we drive out of here, we need someone to pick the lock. Seth, Jennifer, and Scott all want to do it. Okay, Seth, Jennifer, and Scott. Most likely they end up in prison, escape prison. Jennifer, Scott, and Cynthia. Well, like, Scott, I guess, or, or, fucking no. Scott. We know, Scott. You play a rogue in your weird basement game. We'll see how it goes in real life. Oh, is that anyway, based on points? That I'm stupid. Okay. I, I get what you're saying. I thought it's just those three names are for those categories. I'm dumb. Know, Jimmy, Got well you. you guys, so <laughs> it'll probably be easier that way. That is part four. This plan is, uh... <laughs> I thought it was business. just based on... The, there's actually a You're point system. I'm stupid as hell. Part? I'm gonna Four kill these kids. The okay. Fast runner. Fast runner. Gotcha. To decide between... Who was it again? Kyle. Cynthia. And Seth. It was hot David or Heather, and I already picked both of them! Oh my god! Seth has no points! He's gonna fucking die! Oh no. Okay, well, you know, it was it was fun while it lasted. Seth. <laughs> I'm gonna get these kids killed! Who runs towards danger, but today, we really need you to run away, okay? Sweet. Okay, let's recap. Can I switch my answers? A runner distracts the killer while we grab the van keys and pick the lock on the gate. Uh, this is now funny. the tricky part. The getaway. Ooh, what's the plan there? Well, we can't all outrun the whistling man. But he thinks we're just a bunch of stupid teens. So, let's use that against him. Part five, we trick the killer into a trap. Someone can pretend to be injured. Who would make the most believe? Who you got? We got Lisa, Tammy, and Cynthia. Okay, Lisa or Tammy. We'll do Lisa. Lisa. They're both oh, the same. You're right, Lisa. Having to smile at rude customers is perfect practice. That should take care of the killer. And then it's time to get out of here. Finally, part six. Okay. We need someone who can drive us through the woods and back to Gallows Creek alive. Who's our getaway driver? Should it be? Who was it's that? Jimmy. He's dead. Jennifer, Cynthia, oh, whatever. Forrest, you know what to do. What the fuck? Okay, hang on. Not Jennifer. Uh, dude, I don't fucking know. Jennifer, Chad, or Cynthia. Dude, it's Jimmy is the only one. He's dead, dude. Oh my god, I guess anyone but... Oh no. Jennifer. I know we all love watching American Skid. Yes, I... Yeah. Just do what they did in the movie. Uh... Thanks, Forrest. We'll just take a few seconds for ourselves. And then it's go time. Sounds good. Talk to you in a sec. Good luck, Carrie. I'm, I killed everybody. <laughs> that actually sounded like a pretty good plan. Peggy, it's not. I killed them. Yeah, I think they're screwed. <laughs> well, let's hope you're wrong. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, the kids are back already. Line one again. If you're just tuning in, we're coming to you live with a bunch of teens about that are to gonna die because I killed them. Listener, discretion is advised. Are you ready, Carrie? We're good to go, Forrest. All right. Don't don't die. <laughs> don't die. Okay. <laughs> got this. Here we go, everyone. Slaughter to the roof. Whoa, whoa, careful. All right, Brenner. Get ready. Wait for the spotter's signal. Spotter says go.
The keys, Carrie. You ah, need fuck to Jim, get you the cares. Keys. <laughs> his face is lying next to him for his. Oh, damn! Oh, God. Oh, God. His head was chopped off. Focus. Breathe. Another one killed! Another one! Got him. God, hurry up, block picking! Oh my god! <sighs> Another one I killed! Oh. 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 Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so bad! Um. You have to keep going. Don't give up, Carrie! Don't give up. Right. Right. We just gotta keep pushing on. <laughs> Dude, this is the funniest playthrough. I'm just killing everyone. Right. Oh. Wait. Get into position. Everybody else. Hide. Is that five or six? I don't know. I lost count of how many people I killed already. <laughs> Dead. Damn it. <laughs> Did he it jump off the roof? Now. Driver, take the keys. We're gonna have to ram it. Carrie? Oh, what was that? I screwed them over. Harry, you need to get out of there now. Oh, oh we crashed. Everyone ran. My legs trapped. Dude, they just left her. She's alive? She just stared at me and got my leg out. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thank God you're okay. Wait, why did why did she safe? not die? <sighs> I can make it home. Thank you both for helping. If you hadn't, I I guess the plan was just well, you know what they say about plans, Carrie. Boris. I'm so plans confused. Why didn't he kill her? Any struggle. Whew. After Jimmy, anyway. Forest. <laughs> I, I need to go. I need to get home. I... Breathe, Carrie. You're okay now. I'll call you when I'm somewhere safe. I wonder if oh, she didn't please. die because her friends just left her there. It's kind of interesting. Folks, that was a... That was a lot. Our thoughts go out to the parents whose kids 
won't make it home tonight. Yeah, it's like a For twist. Any kids listening in, please stay inside and stay safe. And parents, hug your kids extra tight tonight. Here's a song for the girl walking home in the dark. Um, that was really weird. I, I just wonder why they didn't go after her. Because, like, she was stuck. It's perfect time hey, to, like, we had a call come in. kill someone. It's weird. Time to turn the music off. Oh, sorry. Forrest Nash here. Listeners, we've got another caller live on 189.16, The Scream. What's on your mind, caller? Hey, Forrest. I just wanted to phone in and say that I think I speak for everyone when I say that you're providing a real service for Gallus Creek tonight. It's cool you're what you're welcome. doing, man. Well, I'm just doing my job, friend. Anyway, tell me about yourself. What's your name? Are you keeping safe tonight? Yeah, man, I'm good, thanks. I'm at my roller rink, trying to get roller everything rink. ready for the Harvest Festival tomorrow. Roller rink. I had a guy from Starling Security here earlier installing the Starling 4000 system, so Who I'm a little behind. the rolling rink? As for my name, my friends call me Roller Ricky. And I now consider oh, here. you a friend. Roller right Rickies, now. right there. Um. We're friends now, huh? Well, that's kind of you to say. Thanks. Yeah, man. Sounds like roller skating is more than just a job to you. So is this vocational? I wasn't always Roller Ricky. Once upon a time, believe it or not, I used to go by just Ricky. Wow, who would have thought? <laughs> then, things were pretty rough. I used to roll with a bad crowd. Not all bad, but there was one guy. Anyway, uh, this looks like a chill game. Out. I mean, sure, somewhat chill if you <laughs> want to count that there's a serial killer outside. I don't talk about it or <laughs> I don't even know how to talk. It's just how it was. That bottle took the best years of my life, or so I thought. It's never too late, Roller Ricky. How did you turn things around? I joined a support group. I opened up about my problems. And sharing that burden just took so much weight off. It's a long story from there, but I found Roller Disco. I learned how to have fun again, cutting loose and making shapes. Now whenever I get down, I get down. <laughs> I'm finally free from it all, man. It's important just to talk to somebody. That's the first step. Ain't that right, Max? Oh, oh. Oh, dog! Aw, oh, hello, Max. Dog. Oh. Well, he certainly sounds like a good boy. All dogs Max are good is boys my and girls. Support dog. Oh. He's a rescue dog, but I always say he's the one that rescued me. Aw, oh, now I gotta guy say this ask. guy because he's got a dog. The first thing I did was teach him how to skate. He's better than me now, a real pro. Max can skate. Yeah, man. At first they said it could There's be a done. serial color on the loose, and we just basically have to help people who call in. Maxie loves the rink, man. Is that another train, Maxie? Maxie loves trains, man. He's even got that special how to greet them. Okay. Um. <laughs> it sounds like you two make a great pair. Uh, Maxie appreciates all the positivity. Sorry, I'm just trying to look at like where he is. You know, He's I'm here, but like everything around him. Tomorrow at the festival, I think it's a great opportunity to give back to the community. Man, all this talk of skating's got me itching for a boogie. Before I switch my radio off for the night, could I request a song for us? Something I can groove to, you know, something funky. It'll be me and Maxie's final boogie breakdown tonight. Then I think we'll take it down a little. I can do that. Thanks again for calling. You and Max, be safe now, okay? I think there's a hey, lot of Maxie. accidental collaborations oh, with the man. killer. Peace. Yeah. Well, folks, this next one goes out to Roller Ricky and Max. Enjoy. I really needed that call, you know, after everything. Yeah, I get that. He talked a bit much for my taste, but it is inspiring to hear somebody come back from the brink like that. Yeah, that, that's what I meant. <laughs> Not because there's a you serial were killer on the loose. About Max on skates, weren't you? Well, uh, would you look at that? Another caller on the line. What are the odds? Better take it. Okay. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. This is Forrest Nash. How are you tonight, caller? I'm doing okay. Oh, I'm Carrie! Home safe. Carrie! Hey, I, I just wanted to thank you for doing what you could earlier. 
even though not everybody made it. I'm just confused as to why she's alive. Like, why? Hey, why it's her? okay. You were so brave earlier. You're safe now. Guys, do you have any theories why the killer didn't kill her? Why he didn't? Why did he leave her there? Why am I? Why what, Carrie? Why did he spare me? After what he did? Why let me go? He saw you as a victim? Oh, maybe because of the- Yeah, they played a prank on her earlier, remember? Maybe that's why? They were bullying her, kind of. Maybe he didn't kill you because he saw you as a victim. Maybe. But why would that stop him from killing me, too? After everything he did to- These stupid hazing nights have to stop. Carrie, you did so well tonight. Stay safe and rest. Help is coming to Gallows Creek. We huh. just need to hold on. Thanks, Peggy. Hey, Forrest? She's a, her successor, her course, dad, brother, yeah. maybe re so. relative. Any song by Blast Processor. And thank you. This next one goes out to Carrie. Hmm. Because there was a message earlier that they were gonna pay, like Gallows is gonna pay, like the town. You know but, what like, Carrie for just what? said has really got me thinking. About for the what? pranks, the whistling People man left her alone. Why? Right. There must be a reason. When it comes to masked whistling killers, I don't think a reason is a key part of their process. Well, it's something to consider. I need to take a break. If you want to stretch your legs, now's the time. Just hit the Peggy button when you want to get back on air. Friends, maybe they've been through the same thing. Maybe. See, okay, let me let me step out of here for a second so I can kind of think. I feel like it's either somebody who was hazed back then who was like being bullied by the pranks because she said that this happens every year like a bunch of kids go out and like pr play pranks on people and they oftentimes be like the they're the serial killer and pretend like they're killing them but the people who we were trying to save so far it was the reporter that guy with the dojo um a doctor and who else who else did i get killed well regardless they all have like positions even the mayor was around too they have positions on like a powerful positions in the town so is the killer just taking out people who are important or who have power over others you know what i'm saying like i wonder if that's the reason why Like, maybe he went around and killed, like, the people who bullied him. You don't know. What the hell is that? Oh, what the fuck? It was in here? I was looking for that earlier. Oh, my gosh. Ew. Scream. Hmm. But yeah, I just feel, I find it interesting that it's all all like that. That's not opening. I can't open that. Oh my god, please tell me that's just the bathroom doors. All right. Anyway, let's go back. Let's get going, Peggy. All righty. We could run another segment or scratch that for us. We have a caller. All right. You're through to 189.16, The Scream. What's your emergency? He's an assassin! Oh, okay. oh. oh, that call with the teens was awful. Those poor kids. Wait, who is this? So, um, I'm glad the girl didn't get hurt. Thanks for your concern. Uh, are you in trouble? Is this the girl who asked What's for the mind? request oh, the song and then we didn't play it? Again to play my song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her. You said you were going to play it, but you didn't. Your name was Dawn, right? What, Peggy? Oh, well remembered. My name is Dawn, and I wanted to ask you again to play my tune for us. Is this serial killer a woman? Like, serial killers don't have to be men, right? Long ride home? You know, the one that Peggy said she threw outside the window? I'll play a track for you, Dawn, but maybe pick another one? We don't exactly have that one in rotation right now. No, Forrest. 
You do have it. It's just outside. How does she know that we threw that out the window? We didn't say that out loud on air. How does she know that? There's a serial killer on the loose. I can't just go outside hunting for a record. I'm really sorry, Don, but we just can't get it right now. But wasn't the whistling man just at the old murder house? That's miles from the station. It won't take you a second to grab it. No, what the fuck? No. Nope, I'm sorry, Don. I'm just not going out there. No, I don't but trust I you. Forrest, Peggy, I'm, I'm calling with more than a request. I know something. I think I know who's going to be next. What? Are you serious? Play my song, Forrest, and you'll find out. <sighs> what the hell? Uh, Absolutely well, not. So I'm going to die if I step out of this office. While I think things over. What the? No, no. I don't try. I don't. This is a bad idea. Right. How did she hear about that? Because we were not on air when we said that. Is she serious, Peggy? She's serious about hearing that song. That's for sure. Peggy, I mean, is she serious about... Is she the killer know, or his accomplice? It, it's either really or. We don't have a choice, do we? If she's telling the truth... Girl, why don't you go? Why have I been doing everything? Why don't you go? Like, what? Then, why don't you go and get it? It's one of Reggie's KFAM regulations. I can't leave the booth while we're on air. No, hey. you're lying. You can do it, okay? <sighs> Fine. You're a good man, Forrest. I'll slide you the key to the fire door. She will. Wait, I don't wait, think that's our a fire thing. Door has to be unlocked. Yeah, it. Uh, you know, I never thought about it, but yeah. We should. Talk I'm to starting not to later. trust Peggy because, anyway, like, this I'll is weird. I'll down while you're out. Maybe I'll even get a caller. That could be exciting. 189.16. The Scream. With me, Peggy. Yeah, but you're acting weird. Girl, like, what are you talking about? You can't get out of the room. What if you gotta go pee? You just pee in there? Like, what? I'm, I'm honestly, like, very confused. Like, why? Oh, I don't like this. I'm gonna die, guys. I'm gonna die. Okay, I can't go up there this way. I have to go through the back door, I think. Yeah, Peggy's in the other room. She's, like, literally in the same building as me. Oh, this is so creepy. Let me just check. Oh, damn. We this place is huge, though. Can I bring a weapon with me? Because, like, I don't want to go there by myself. You know what I'm saying? Out of order... Can I just like take a weapon and and protect okay, let me get these. There we go. Bring these scissors. Okay. Didn't she say she had to step out for a minute when they had a break so she can leave? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like she's acting weird. Like I don't like that. Oh that was me. Oh fuck rock six. Need to key. Okay. Sorry, I just want to check every door. What the hell is all this liquid coming out of there? Ew. Oh, hell. Wait, isn't this where the si you know, I hope she'll be happy when I'm brutally murdered by the whistling man. Oh my god. Out here? In the open? Wait! Ah! Hello? He's out. He, did you guys see him? He's right there. He's right fucking there. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm gonna die. Where did she fucking throw it? This fucking woman. Here we go. Here it is. Long run. Oh home. my god. 
Get away from me. Oh my god. Of course. It locks <gasps> behind me. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Uh, no, no, no. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Maybe there's another way back in through the basement. A, a door, or elevator, or something. Oh, for fuck's sake. You're scaring me. Stop, 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 stop. Where do I go? Where do I go? Bitch. I can't open that. Dude, where's the other door? Oh, shit. I don't like that. That means they're gonna cut the power later. Oh my god. Wait, what door freaking opens around here? Am I just blind? What? What do I do? I can't open that. Do I have to take the fuse out? <sighs> okay, hang on a second. What the fuck? Maybe I have to pull the fuse out. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. No, this... I'm gonna die. I'm actually gonna die. Looks like I'm gonna have to hunt around for some new fuses. Oh, I have to drop this. Hang on, let me get rid of the scissors. Oh my god. I saw a couple on the ground. Here, here's one. Can I pick it up? I don't like this. D guys, I'm gonna die. The serial killer is already, like, watching me. I saw him. Or her. I don't know. Oh, this is so creepy. I need one more, and I think I saw it by the emergency door. Pick it up! Dude, I'm nervous. I, f I feel like this is a setup. I feel like this was a setup. There's no other way to say this now. Did that work? Wait. Nah, uh, that's not right. Do the fuses add up properly? Oh, I gotta add them! I'm stupid! Okay, so we need 70. Obviously, this is not it. Okay, hang on. How do I... So... 60. So I need another 5. Yeah, I need another... I need another 5. I need a green one. Guys, do you trust Peggy? Do you think she's telling the truth, what she said to me? Where are the fuses at? Might be in the dumpsters. No. Why do I feel like a jump scare is gonna happen? Please don't say that. I don't want one. <laughs> Please don't say that. What, what are you? Or a 20. No. Ah, oh, fuck. Do you have a 5? Oh, here we go. Yes. Fuck yeah.
Bingo! Okay. Loud noises. Loud noises. Huh. Can I open this now? Hi, no? Okay, I'm fucked. Oh, I can open this. Oh, no. I could probably survive that fall. Oh, no. Looks like the janitor's closet. Clive! What did his name was? Clive! Clive. What the fuck? What the hell? Peggy is not gonna believe this. Oh my god, this is- what the f- what the fuck? Look, it's the doctor! The doctor's on there! These were all planned kills! Oh my god. Huh. There's a key. I'll just take that. Might be important. Wait, 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 wait. There's still people on the list. Class of 69. Wait, didn't Peggy say she changed her last name? Guys. Didn't she say, say Peggy is, like, that's not her real name? What? She said her name was something else. Is she on this list? What the fuck? This is so weird. Yo, I don't like this. Is there anything weird in here? Holy fuck. Hmm. I wonder how the show's going. <laughs> I like how Forrest is not scared whatsoever. He's like, huh, I wonder how the radio station's doing. Are they playing the good songs? Okay, we're back here. Yeah, she said she changed it because her stepfather, like, her mom got remarried. So I wonder if, like, that's the reason why she's been acting kind of weird. Isn't that such a good song, folks? And now for... Jesus, Forrest, you've been gone for ages. I thought something had happened. I almost something died. Did happen. You didn't Clive help the me. the janitor might be Clive... The murderer. What? I'll start from the beginning. The, uh, the fire door locked behind me. So. I don't trust her. This is too weird. Why did you heave that thing all the way up here? Uh, because the basement's creepy as hell, and I don't like standing around down there. Fair. All right, let's run through this again. We have a creepy board you found in a creepy basement made by our creepy janitor who you think is the creepy whistling man yep and on the creepy board are the names chuck brody kim walker rebecca allen and aunt williams correct and you think one of these people will be the whistling man's clive's next target that's right and we've got to find them you said there are four locations listed there too the hospital, the power station, the gas station, and the trailer park. Clive must think the target is at one of those locations. Forrest, you're gonna have to figure out if any of the potential targets are at one of these locations tonight. Oh my god, Hit the girl, button I don't if you know. need any help. Okay. Oh, we bought the whole thing. Okay. Let me see. Um so Are the circle ones that they killed already? Am 
improv club. Okay, hang on. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Let me ask. How's it going? Uh, it's not going well. I, I could use some help. Okay, let's review the basics. We need to work out who the next target is. There's four locations, right? And four people. We need to figure out if anyone is at any of the four locations tonight. And if they are, we can call them and warn them. There must be some connections between the notes. That makes sense. Great. Need any more help? Okay. So the notes. So we got Chuck Brody is the first guy. Chuck Brody is Athletes Club. Oh, sorry. Athletes Club. Where would Chuck Brody be? Trailer park? No, I don't think so. Would it? Hang on, I'm gonna put that there for now. And then we get Kim Walker. Kim Walker's Improv Club. Dude, that literally could be anything! That literally could be anything! I'm gonna put that there for now. She's car car club, so gas station. I'll put that there. Gas station. Who who else is on this list? Aunt Williams. Aunt Williams is wait, no, hang on. You're down there. Rebecca Allen is car club as well. Power station? Okay, hang on. Let me see what else I can find. Car impound. Marriage announcement. They got married. Okay, that doesn't really tell me much. Lead engineer, Aunt Williams. Hmm. Bus tragic. It's like all these like bad news are like happening around these people. Dude, I don't even know if this is right or not. Power station. Yeah, people. So many people have died. See, like disaster. People are dying. People are getting injured. What the fuck. Uh, yes, please. Sure. I think you should be methodical with this. Try grouping the notes by who they're about. You could also have a look at the dates and make a timeline. Maybe that will help rule. No, I haven't played the song yet. Stuff. I'm not playing the song Got yet it. until we do this first. Thanks, Peggy. No problem. No, I get it. It's just what? Why? Should I play the song now? I, th I thought I was going to play it later. What the hell is it? Oh, shit. No. This one. Fuck it, I don't know. How's it going? Let's try that. I'm ready, Peggy. Are you sure? We've only got one shot Fuck at Fuck it, this. do it, let's go. I killed everybody already. <laughs> I'm sure. Let's do this. Okay, name first. Who do you think the target is? Okay. Okay. 
Chuck Brody. And where will I find them? I don't know. The trailer park. Okay, I'm dialing. One moment. It's probably wrong. Forrest, I'm through to the trailer park, but... They say there isn't anyone by that name there. What? Then who? Jeez! Ah! It sounds like something blew up! He's using bombs now? Oh. My. God. The call board. It... I... One moment. Wait. Gas station? Of course, I'm getting so many calls. Just let me... I'm gonna take us off air for a moment. <sighs> Why? Peggy, what's happening in there? Peggy. Girl, why are you not answering? I'm back. He blew up the gas station forest. Okay. I spoke to the fire department and the hospital. The fire department is useless now, as you know. And, uh, the hospital's only ambulance was at the gas station. So the doctor. Forrest, you, you've got to say something on the radio. You have to tell the town. I'm putting us back on air. Now. Gallows Creek. I don't know how to tell you this, but uh, the gas station's been bombed. Please, everyone, stay safe, stay inside, and... Oh, just bring us into some music, Forrest. <laughs> Careful with this next track, listeners. It's dynamite. I'm sorry, but all his jokes are hilarious. Yeah, it's just one. The one ambulance, three cops, one There's fire in the truck. Like to show what? Us who Clive is targeting, and if that's the case, we can get ahead of him. Stop the killings before they can happen. Forrest, we need to go back down. By we, you mean me, right? Yep. Like I said, I need to handle all these calls. No. Maybe start with that creepy mannequin room you mentioned before. <laughs> I, I still have a lot of questions there. about those, by the way. Me too. I don't want to go back down there. Girl, you go. Why is she making me go? Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Fuck. A stupid basement. Go back to the creepy basement, the creepy hallway with the creepy room. <gasps> you son of a bitch. Why would you do that? Okay. Hmm. A key? Was this always here? I must have missed it when I brought everything upstairs. I don't think so. I think the, the killer is just trying to lead us. You have anything in here? Just trying to see. No. That's so creepy. What the fuck? Ow! It didn't work, that just hurt. Um, I feel like I'm gonna get murdered in here because it's really dark. Hey, Forrest. Peggy, give me some warning before you on the intercom. Sorry. Buzz the intercom when you find something and want to discuss it. Peggy, I've found a tape and a map down here. A map of what? 
Looks like it might be to somewhere in this storage area. Weird. Well, maybe the tape will give us more information. Give it a play. Give it a play? Girl, where do I play it at? Wait, there's something back here, right? Huh? What? Can I open this? Oh my god. Where do I play this at? Give it a play, it'll be fine. Like, girl, where? Do I have to go back up? Oh, wait, I have to play it in here. Wait, where, though? Oh, here, I'm stupid. I, I didn't see that. He says I need to follow the maps and find the tapes. I guess that's what this map is about. I think we need to see what else is hidden down here. Be careful for it. Keep I'm going to die. Buzz the intercom when you found something. I'm going to die. Oh, this is so creepy. What the fuck? Time of autopsy is 7 a.m. Cause of death is asphyxiation from drowning. Degree of rigor mortis indicates that the subject has been deceased for five hours. That puts the time of death. Okay. Yep, don't like up oh, don't like this. Don't like this. Okay, I gotta find the the Oh stop with the music. Son of a bitch. Say. This looks useful. 4 a.m. call received from a jogger, Miss Sandra Sharp. Reporting the body had been washed up in a reservoir. What the fuck? Okay, the one with the box. Uh. Yo, how big is this space? results shows no signs of inebriation. However, a high oh, amount of cortisol was found, indicating elevated levels of stress in the immediate moments before death. Guys, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. This is so weird. Stop! Why is the light flickering? Additionally, there appears to be a post-mortem injury to the arm. Trapped in a car door. That sounds familiar! Carrie! Earlier, the, the teenage girl? The same thing, isn't it? She was trapped in a car. Oh. Oh. Come on. Oh my god, please. This has to be important. For his life and was chased, resulting in a fall from a height into a body of water where he hit his head, was knocked out, and drowned. Following that, he was moved. What the fuck? What the? I'm a man who likes to stay informed. I've got 
A new vinyl for my collection. Almost 20 years ago. And each one drawing closer to Gallows Creek. Drawing closer. Guys, what happened to that other cop? You know the girl that we the not the cop, the 911 operator. What happened to her? All I hope now is that I can save some folk from the worst. Something to make up for what I did back then, I guess. I didn't kill anyone, mind you. But that's past mattering. He didn't kill anyone. There's more I could say. That I should say. But my employer made it clear that my family would pay a high price if I ever spoke out. So, hopefully I've said enough. Didn't she? D I'm so confused what's going on. There's like so many conflicting what things. What the hell? Peggy is not gonna believe this. I'm sorry you made it to Virgin. I made you do this to you, Virginia? Virginia Sullivan. Yeah, that's the. That's the doctor, right? The doctor. And then she said, Clive. Yeah, 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 that's the doctor. Okay, I need to go. This is too weird. Get me out of here. Oh, fuck. How do I get out? What have you found, Forrest? It's an autopsy tape. Doesn't say for who, but yeah, it wasn't I think Clive. It must be for George. Poor George. He was so young. Something's bugging me, Peggy. What do you mean? I swear I recognize the voice of the woman talking on the tape. It's I just Virginia. Can't place it. Seriously? Do you think you've met her before? I don't know. I mean, I just got here recently. I don't know. Found another tape. It talks more about how George died. Sounds like he was running for his life. Sprinting through trees and bushes, getting cut up all over. What would drive someone to do that? I'm not sure yet. There's also a tape about a toxicology report. There were no signs of drinking or that. that he was on anything. What? But everyone said he went swimming drunk and drowned. It was in the newspaper and everything. I found Don't a written say lied. report. What does it say? According to that, it's just like you said at the start. George drowned after getting drunk. Said he liked to fight, too. But that contradicts the tape. I know. And I think I know why. There's a note with a report that says, I'm sorry I made you do this, Virginia. If it was on the autopsy report, then Virginia must be our coroner. Wait, the caller from earlier. It's the same lady. The takeout restaurant. Wasn't her name Virginia? <sighs> if only she had made it. Then we might have learned more about what's going on. Yeah, if I okay. fucking called the pizza place! <laughs> the takeout idea was a long shot as it was. I found a tape that introduces a new detail to the story. Post-mortem injury. Apparently, his arm got caught in a car door. A car door? Yeah, after he died. How do you suppose they can tell? Hmm. The written report I found doesn't mention it at all. How did his arm get trapped in a car door after he died? Unless he got it when the police collected his body. I guess someone else must have moved him after he was dead to where he was eventually found. But the report. What is going on here? I found a police report. Mentions a friend from earlier. Sandra Sharp. Sandra. The jazz Yeah. Line? 
the j right. the jazz she lady. She found George's body washed up at the reservoir. The reservoir? Yeah. What's strange about that? George got cuts from running through foliage, right? But there's no forest around there. Also, how did it wash up at the reservoir? What do you mean? Reservoirs don't have tides. But that's what the police report said. The cop was not lying. Helpful, I did a school project on reservoirs and got an A. The cop, that, the sheriff? That's why he got killed too, right? The important thing is that it doesn't make sense. What are you suggesting then? That the body was originally found somewhere other than what the report suggests. It's a lie. That the sheriff tried to cover it up, but accidentally let something slip? Something like that, I think. Well, Sheriff Matthews wrote the report. If he hadn't been eviscerated, we could have asked him. And Sandra didn't make it either. In another tape, the coroner comes to the same conclusion as I did. George was running from something. Maybe an animal? Maybe, but then there's this next bit, where the coroner thinks he was moved post-death. Why are the cops covering it up? I don't know. At the end of the tape, someone burst in and demanded Virginia stop recording. I, I think it was Clive. This is starting to make sense now. This... This is a conspiracy to cover up what happened to George. I, um... I think I found Clive's last recording. I think Clive might be gone. Gone? I found a confession. Not for any killings, but... for playing a part in covering up George's death. He left this behind in case he died. He hoped someone would find it. You... Do you think the Whistling Man already got him? Possibly. We've had a lot of callers tonight, but... maybe not every victim made it to the phone, you know? We don't that's know true. how many there really are. Christ, Forrest, that's dark. I know, but Clive said he had read about other murders in other towns, and that the murders were all folks who knew about the incident, and the killings were getting closer to Gallows Creek. He said he wanted to do something good for once. The board in his office. He wasn't tracking people down to kill them. He was tracking them down to save them. Ugh, why didn't he just come out with all of this? Uh, he said his employer threatened this is his so family weird. if he spoke out about any of it. His employer? The one who orchestrated the cover-up? Oh, Clive. I'm sorry for thinking you killed all those people. Do you think you found everything? <sighs> I think so. Forrest, what's going on here? I don't Someone know! Someone wanted that boy's death to seem like an accident. And they hired Clive to make it look that way. Uh, come back upstairs when you're ready. I'm ready Let's now. Get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> I don't want to stay. Oh, God, it's 3 a.m. It's the witching hour. All the bad things happen. Thank God you're back, Forrest. I've been running out of stuff to pad our airtime with. Peggy, you work in radio. Forrest, I'm stressed. I mean, really. How are we supposed to keep a show going with all this happening? This is our job, Peggy. It's we, literally we our job. <laughs> You're right. So, what's the plan now? Uh... If only Sandra had made it. We could have talked to her, too. Yeah, and I fucking killed her. <laughs> um. Oh, well. Uh, well, you know, we win some <laughs> and we lose some. Forrest kills me. Yes. <laughs> Looks like we've got a call coming in. All right. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream, with me, your host, Forrest Nash. Hi, Forrest. I know Is this the pizza guy? Out of the blue with everything happening tonight. But I wondered if you could send a special birthday message to my uncle. Okay. You know what? I'd welcome a change of pace. I'd be glad to. Thank you, Forrest. He's my uncle, Ronnie. His first name's Peter, but he never liked his name. But since he always had salt and pepper hair, even as a kid, can you believe it? Folks always called it's him a pizza guy. Pepper. Uh, thanks for the history lesson. Is there anything besides happy birthday you'd like to say to Mr. Pepper? Oh my God, damn it! Yes, 
Tell him he can get the best birthday deal. <laughs> yeah, I kind of like this guy. <laughs> you son of a bitch, stop calling us. Sorry, Forrest. Let's just move on. We've already got another caller on the line. Okay. This is 189.16, The Scream. I'm Forrest Nash. You're on the air, caller. Yeah, I think the game got harder because we killed everybody. Caller. I think trying not to laugh. <sighs> Ponty. Ponty's pizza always delivers. Come rain or sleep or like <laughs> that. Fuck? We'll be there. <laughs> Forrest? Forrest? Are you okay? <sighs> Forrest? I hope the whistling man gets in with his own pizza slicer. Damn! Jesus, Forrest? Sorry. Sorry. That was... That was too much. It's okay. It's been a high-stress night. Don't worry about him anymore, okay? Not for tonight, anyway. I think he's spent for now. We've got another call. Whenever you're ready. Okay. I'll see if it's a Sarah color or not. Folks, don't spend your money at Pony Pizza. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about that. Mm, moving along, I'd like to welcome another caller to 189.16 The Scream with me, Forrest Nash. Who may I say is calling? Well, hello again, Forrest. Don. Uh, oh, I bet I know why you're calling. It's true. I'm He's got a business to run. Song. There's a lot going on. But please. I uh, never mind that now. First, I'm calling because I need your help. Okay. Are you in danger? Uh, I sure am. Do you mean? Yes. He's after me now. Why does she you? seem so calm? So he must have heard me on the radio helping you. Don? I don't see any name named Don. Helping? Helping? You didn't exactly help. Maybe I've been helping more than you know. I was out following a lead, trying to work out who would be next. After Chuck. And what happened? And I started to feel like I was being followed. I came back to my apartment building, but this newfangled security system has me locked out. I need you to help me get inside. Okay. Do you have a Don't key? Don't you have a key to get in? Only for the apartment door. The front gate requires an entry code. The future is electronic, I guess. Ha ha ha! ha it really that is. Code to get inside. Which apartment block do you live in? Maybe one of our listeners lives there too. It's the New Woodside apartment building between the town hall and the trailer park. But I doubt any. Oh, I think that's a train. I thought that was a chainsaw. I'm like, not again. Sounds like a prime piece of real estate. The sound really carries at night. <laughs> Shit. Oh! Uh, that guy! The dog! The dog! What's that guy's name? The rinky... Roller Ricky guy! Roller Ricky! Is that a neighbor's dog? Yes, it is. Boy, I wish he'd muscle that thing and... Oh. No, don't talk about him now like that! Now blasting David Scopo out of his window. I can't get any... That's Ricky. We can ask for help. We're friends. What's your neighbor's name? I don't know my neighbors, remember? Please, I need to get in. Get can neighbor. You get your neighbor's attention? That the whistling man will see me. I can't do that. Can we What's call him? What's the name of the security system? Uh, there's a sticker on the box. It says Starling Security 4000 is keypad. And it looks like it wants a, a six digit number. Starling Security 4000, huh? That's right. Very newly installed. I need the key code before the whistling man gets me. Yeah, of course. Don't worry, Don. Thank for you, Forrest. I knew I could count on you. I'll sit out of sight. Call me back soon. 
All right, folks. Here's a little tune for you all to enjoy while I try to break Dawn into her apartment. Coming up for your listening pleasure, it's Caged Tiger with their single, One Last Goodbye. I, I just love that all the songs are just about, like, you dying. You <laughs> there, Peggy. Forrest, was it just me, or was there something... Yeah, it wasn't just you. Something was weird about that. Yeah. yeah. Well, oh, shit. tell you what. We have a Starling 4000, or whatever, here at KFAM. Clive bought one for the station. Maybe we can find something to help. Just call the dog I'm guy! Not sure who, but to help someone. Um, okay, I guess I'll have to go downstairs. <sighs> okay, so she's locked out of the Woodside Apartments, and somewhere, Clive probably has the papers for the Starling 4000. Wait, where do I go for that? What the fuck? Clive, where do you have your stuff? Do I have to go back down to that creepy office? Done. We have a ten percent success rate. No, for real though. That's what we have. Locked. For now. And maybe I go back down? Huh? I don't. I hate going down here. No, I already went in there. I don't know. This is too weird. God, I hate this place. Um. No, that doesn't tell me where to go. Start. Where is it? I am I just stupid? Maybe it's not in the basement. It's upstairs. Ponty's Pizza open 24 hours? I think so. Um. Hmm. I figured the security would be up here already, no? Ask um, Peggy. Welcome back, Forrest. Find anything? Nothing by way of key codes. I see. Uh. Any ideas, Peggy? Dawn says she's stuck outside the Woodside Apartments with the whistling man nearby. She's locked out because of some new security system. Yeah, the Starling 4000. Right, and we had the same security system delivered here. Clive was going to install it, so check the basement. I okay. guess that's where Clive would have stuff like that. God damn Thanks, it, I Peggy. don't want to go to the... So I was right the don't first time, the long. place where I was like, don't. I don't need to go in there. <laughs> Fuck. I didn't want to go to the basement. God damn it. All right, going to the creepy basement. Because, you know, that's what I want. Wait, turn that back on. I don't like this. Because I don't want to come back and then it's just like silence. In here? Maybe? Oh, for fuck's sakes, bro. What the fuck? Oh my- Oh, here- 
it is. This, right? Right? I guess? What? <laughs> At least it's well lit, never mind. <laughs> Wait, is this not it? Creepy. Wait, did I go through here last time? I can't remember. Oh. Starling for Ah, here we go. User manual. Ah, these codes should come in handy. What's my favorite game of all time? Uh, Dragon Age. One hundred percent. I love that series. Let me get the hell out of here because it's creeping me out. Alright, got the book. Welcome back, Forrest. Find anything? The Starling 4000 Security. Whew, okay. It's got a bunch of codes. Good. And did you find anything else? Nothing, except the manual. Alright. Well, I'll get Dom back on the line then, Forrest. I'll let you take it from here. Thanks, Peggy. When you're ready, shut the music off. Line one, whenever you're ready. Done. Are you there? This is Forrest Nash from 189.16, The Stream. Oh, thank God you're back. I'm so afraid. What's the code to the gate? Entry code? Oh, gosh. Give alarm test activation code. Give maintenance code. Is it an entry code? Am I stupid? Hang on. Oh my god, okay. Try it. The code is 715914. Thank you, Forrest. Why does she say it like that? Forrest, what did we do? She's the killer, right? Because, like, why does she just chuckle like that? I don't know, actually. I Guess we'll find out. Forrest, there's another call coming what in. What the hell? Evening caller, you're live on... Oh, oh. <gasps> Forrest! Oh. The psycho's somewhere in the roller rink, dude. I just... No! Shut not up. the dog! God damn, what are you Not thinking? the dog! You've got to help me, man. Forrest. Maxie, no! Come back! No, no. Okay, that's enough. What the fuck? Did I just kill the dog? What? No. No. Oh my god. Why'd you kill the dog? What the fuck is wrong with this lady? What the fuck? Thanks again, Forrest. Oh, God. Poor Ricky. Okay. Gallows Creek. No! While we process what just happened. I should have known that something was wrong when I said, why don't you ask your fucking neighbor to help you? And then she was like, no. If your neighbor is home, why would you not ask for... What the fuck? 
Get the shit out of here. So, the whistling man is a woman? I had my suspicions. Yeah, sure, Forrest. You just never mentioned it. We never she heard- up. You spoke to her mo- Dude, you're right! When she called, there was never any whistling in the background. Never any whistling. Every time somebody called for help, there was always a whistling in the background. But when she called, that never happened with her. Oh That's my god! I knew she wasn't right. Is that right, Sherlock? Well, she was acting Why weird! Why she requested that song? To get me outside? Maybe, but how? What's the she name of the song? She didn't know the song was outside to start with. That's right. She never actually attacked me out there. So? What now? I guess I should make an announcement. We do have new info. Okay. That dog did Build not deserve that. You can make the announcement. Peggy, okay, I'm so suspicious of three, you because how two. did she know? Hey folks, this is Forrest Nash here. I hope you're all safely locked inside. For those of you listening to that last call, you might be wondering what to make of it all. Here's our take. We now believe the killer is actually a woman, one who might manipulate you into letting her in before she attacks you. Our neighbors look out for each other. So I'm sad to say, but it's time to trust no one. <laughs> I don't know what to say here. Don't trust anyone. Fuck them. Sad to say, but it's time to trust no one. Yeah, why did she the kill the dog? Like that was so unnecessary. Dog. This could be a fake name. If anyone needs help or you have info on the killer, please call in. You folks have my new number. Kind right? of found official how calm Dawn was when she called about the alarm Hopefully system, right? She didn't seem like she was in a hurry. Help shed some light on our killer. This is weird. Hey, we had a call come in. Okay, folks, time to take a call. This is Forrest Nash, and you're listening. Please help me. Somebody's been stabbed? Can, can you tell me what happened? We've been out at the reservoir. We were heading back to his place. Okay. Whistling all of a sudden. Wait, how did she get over there so fast? Screamed at me, told me to hide. I'd never seen him like that. And I, I just panicked and ran and hid in a bush. Oh no. Forrest. Then there has to be multiple killers. What's his name? What's your friend's name? Casey, was he talking to a woman? I don't know. They had a mask and wore all black. That's all I know. Please, we need help here. I'll get you help, but I need to know. Where did the masked person go? They left. They left him to bleed out. I understand, but where I'm are you? Like, gone. where did they go? <laughs> dragged him into the garage and called 911. Wait, why didn't she make sure he was dead? A distraction? I, I heard them say something like, it's not so funny now, is it? Before they left, but... Please! He needs to get to the hospital! I can't drive, so we need There's no ambulance! It blew up! Forrest, the ambulance was destroyed in the explosion at the gas station. You should get all the info you can. What's your friend's name, Casey? Jason! Jason Parker! Can you tell us where Jason was stabbed? They stabbed him in the stomach, and then stabbed him again in his leg when he was on the ground, and it's... Oh, the knife is still there in his leg! Don't we'll take right it back. out! Peggy, patch us through to the hospital. On it. Phoning St. Gabriel's now. Switch to line two. Hello, St. Gabriel's Hospital. How can I help you? Hi, this is Forrest Nash from 189.16. Forrest, you don't need we to say that! <laughs> victim at 25 Nancy Drive named Jason Parker. He's been stabbed in the stomach and the leg. He's bleeding heavily. Oh, God, I'm sorry. But the ambulance is... Well, you know. I know, but please, we need something or he's going to die. Forrest, I... Listen, 
You're going to have to get him here. We need to see him, and we can't get there ourselves right now. We don't have any way to drive him right now. And even if we did, he's bleeding out fast. All right, listen. We need to buy him time to get here. That means stopping the blood first, and then finding someone to stabilize him. Okay. To stabilize him, you really need someone with first aid training. Blood we don't have that, girl. No. I'm sorry. Me neither. Uh, damn it. I'm really sorry about this, but I have other patients who can't wait. All I can do is talk you through the procedure as quick as I can. Oh, I thought she was about to hang up. I was about to say, what the <laughs> Sure. We don't have a don't choice. Really have much choice. Hit me. Okay, from the top. If he's bleeding out, then you need to get him comfortable and try to stem the bleeding. Okay, stem Lay the bleeding. Down. Lie him down. Continuous pressure directly pressure. to the affected area. Guys, remember this. When the bleeding slows, get a clean cloth of some kind and hold it over the wounds. Get them comfortable. Apply. Good, good. Pressure. Write that down. Write that down. Clean <laughs> cloths when slowed. Got it. I think. You said he was stabbed, right? If the object he was stabbed with is still in him, don't take it. Yeah, I always, I, I always Stopping heard about that. You never right take now. it out. If anything, you should secure it so it stays where it is. I wouldn't have thought of that. It makes sense, though. God, that was a lot of info. But I think we can handle this. Glad you got it so far, because there's more to go. Okay. I'm still with you, Doc. What else do we need to know? If he's lost a lot of blood... One v one with Don. <laughs> Act fast. If you apply the cloth, <laughs> hi Danny, how are you? Look Just at this apply stream. another on top of it. If it's safe, elevate his legs to get blood circulating to his vital organs. Try to keep him warm. Get him to rest and reassure him. We need the patient to stay calm. <sighs> All right. Uh, don't replace bandages. Elevate his legs. Keep him warm and calm. This is a lot. I'm really sorry. That's as much as I can give you right now. Bruh, I'm gonna kill this guy too. Find someone to get him stabilized and get him here as quick as you can. Good luck. All right, Forrest. Casey's still on line one. Hello? Hello? Forrest, are you there? I'm here. How is Jason doing? Badly. He's still bleeding. I need help. I've been putting pressure on his stomach wound since you left. But he's still bleeding. I don't know what to do. That's good, Casey. The nurse said to do that. Oh, what God. about the knife in his leg? Leave it! Leave it! It's gotta be hell! Should I pull it out? No, 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 no. Don't touch that. Don't touch the knife. The bleeding Hi, will be worse if you pull it out. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm leave sorry. it, girl. Trust me. I'm gonna stop making suggestions. <laughs> no, don't worry, Casey. We're a team here. We're all going to get Jason through this. Casey, is his leg wound <laughs> bleeding right now? I'm glad you've been enjoying it's this stream. This has actually hard, been so though. fun. <laughs> okay, secure the knife. I think we need to secure the knife so it doesn't move around. Do you have anything you can tie around it? Uh, yeah. There's some. Tie it up, uh, girl. Uh, tie it up. Dryer. Some cloths on the hood of the car, and what else? Uh, I guess I've got my jacket. Oh God! Clean, clean, clean rags. Take the cleaning rags and hold them over the wound. Wait, no! Here we go. That's for the fucking stuff. I'm an idiot. Dude, I killed Sorry, this guy. Jason. It's I'm, I'm gonna kill I'm this guy. Again. again. Oh, There's the clown music. Forrest, can I have a word? <laughs> yeah, what's up? Casey, I'm gonna have a quick word with Peggy. Keep putting that pressure on and let us know when the bleeding is under control. You're doing great. But what if something happens? Girl, you have we'll no choice. Finger. Just shout if you need anything, and we'll be there. I promise. Okay. Oh, wait. Jason, please be okay. Okay, what? What's up, Peggy? We can't stay on the line with her all night. Dawn is still out there. What if other people need us? <sighs> You're right. She's probably on her way to her next target right now. Exactly. And you heard the nurse. We need someone there with training who can stabilize him. He's got to get to the hospital somehow. Could somebody nearby help them? Maybe drive them to the hospital? Am I going to stream you know, the RG? Exactly I, I haven't decided yet or not. Do you have anybody not. in mind? I might. 
A little before you started working here, KFAM did a mandatory first aid training course. Me and Karen missed it because we were away on a producer getaway. You skipped it, didn't you? I, never mind. So, how does KFAM's first aid course help us? Casey said they're at 25 Nancy Drive, right? Yeah, why? 29 Nancy Drive. They put Drive. up a bunch of cheap houses around there about 10 years ago. So a bunch of people here at the station live around there. Do you think any of them could help Casey and Jason? Probably, but I don't know who lives there. And since I missed the training day, I don't know who knows first aid. Oh, Could great. you call them and ask? I don't know everybody's numbers. Great, why'd I you suggest it then? Karen. Everybody's personnel info is probably in Reggie's office. Got it. I'll look through their files in Reggie's office. It's a life or death situation. I'm sure they won't mind. Right. But there are a couple of problems with that. What? Oh. <sighs> it's sensitive information. So Reggie probably locked it in his safe. Bro, Great. come on! Great. Do you have any idea what the combo for the safe could be? Not a clue. Reggie's a serial note taker, though. Maybe something in his office will give it away. Right. There is something else. Why is there I'm always like something? It, have you ever heard, the future is floppy? Peggy, what the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about floppy disks. Floppy disks are like these futuristic things that have information on them. Oh my god, nobody you uses floppy disks anymore. Does anyone know what do that something. is? I know some Peggy, of you that watch me have I never know what a floppy disk is. Anyway, used one. <laughs> Reggie decided that the future is floppy and started phasing out our physical records and replacing them with these floppy disks. I imagine it's the same for our personnel files. That's good to know. Since we haven't heard anything from Casey, I'm guessing I'm making Jason's all these okay shots. for now. Nice. I'll check out Reggie's office and see what I can find. You'll need a key for that. I'll just slide it under my door now. H okay, I, once again, I have another question. Have How does she have all the keys with her? Like, every single one. Wait, what? Can okay. I go now? I'll patch my mic down to the office so you'll hear me over the intercom. Okay, can I go now? Reggie's office. Where's Reggie's office? Let's see, I don't think it would be here. Hang on. Now I feel old. I had one. I remember having one. Is this Reggie's office? Locked tight. God damn it. Where's his office? I just find it so fascinating. She's like, there's a killer on the loose. I'm not going to open the door for you, Forrest. You can hang out there by yourself. Okay. Okay. That's not Reggie's office. That's not Reggie's office either. It's got to be one of these. Private. Ah, here we go. All right. Please insert flop. Oops. Insert floppy disk. Could this be it? No. How do I take it out? No, that's not it. It's about um stupid pizza man. the other one looks like I need a four-digit code Reggie junior birthday zero nine ten not ten zero nine last year was a disaster zero nine ten okay hey Peggy you there I can't figure out how to get into this stupid safe. No worries. We still have a little time. Reggie writes almost everything down somewhere. I'd recommend you start reading. I'll have a look around. You're probably right. I'll let you know when I find something. Or don't. Nope. No? That's not working. Must be something else. What the? No? It's not. Very important date. Okay.
Um. Very important date. Am I blind? Try sixty-nine sixty-nine, okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not it. Oh god, where the hell? Um nineteen eighty seven? I don't know. No. Zero eight one three. That's not in either! Zero nine ten. Not ten zero. But I did that already. It didn't work. Nope. That's not working. Must be something else. Okay. One, two, three? Nah, too easy. <laughs> it needs to be an important date. There's nothing else I can really look at. I don't think so. Okay, let me look at this stupid floppy disk. There must be something on here. Let's see. Uh. Could this be it? Oh, 1107. 1107. 1107. 1107. Nice. Yeah. Oh, God. Personnel file. Okay, I'm, I'll have to do these one at a time, I guess. Put that in here. All right, let me bust out all of these. So I don't have to keep walking back. I did, I, I did, I tried the, the date of this game. It didn't work. Okay, let's start off with this one, I guess. Fuck. Hey Peggy, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Did you find what we need? <laughs> okay. All right. Cool. That's nice. Um I got the safe open, but I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be looking for in these files. Got it. I'll take another look at the files. I'll let you know when I find something, or don't. Hello? Oh my god, who the fuck was that? Okay, near Nancy, was it Nancy Drive? Bond Street, Axe Down Lane, and King Avenue. Oh my god, bro, I can't do this. down lane okay okay this 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 full missed uh training so no not you all right not you all right all right get a load of this peggy apparently i'm a lone wolf type oh that's me what are you doing? <laughs> You're right. I'm sorry. I need to focus on possible. It was a joke. I can Which force is way. not good at? Hey, Peggy. I think Reggie's on to you and Karen. Maybe don't bring those little drink umbrellas into work for a while. What? Why are you reading my file? You need to find someone who can help Casey. We already know I can. Uh, Nancy Drive. You're right. I'm sorry. 
I need to focus on possible candidates. I really shouldn't have read both. We're in a hurry. John apparently has a bunch of medical equipment in his home that he procured. Okay, John's a possibility. Okay, hang on. John's a possibility. Let me put this here. Okay. Who's the last person? Nancy Drive. Did you miss the... It, it's John. It's John, I think. It, I think it's John. Okay, I think it's John. Hey, Peggy, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Did you find what we need? Um... I think I know who our best bet is to help Casey and Jason. All right, good work. Who should I... I, I do... Is anybody there? Oh, Please, I do plan to play Amanda Adventure Casey, at, at some point. What's wrong? Oh shit. Um Peggy? I'm drawing a bit of a blank here. Forrest, I think he's going into shock. But the bleeding seems to slow down. Did I mess up? Jason, I'm sorry. Casey, calm down. You've done everything right. I You gotta keep him calm too. Don't freak to him out. Me, okay. For Jason. What did the nurse say to do about shock? Casey? I need you to elevate Jason's legs. We need to get the blood flowing to his vital organs. Got it. Jason, stay with me. I I'm just gonna move you. Oh my, my god. Heart. Okay. I propped his legs up on some boxes. I'm looking at my notes. We need to get Jason as warm and comfortable as possible. Does she not write that down? The elevating the legs? Don't remove the bandage. Apply another one on top of it. Do you still have something you can use? I've used the rest of the laundry to keep him warm, so... I'll use my jacket. I can always get a new one. I'll fix his bandage and get him warm. Yeah, just Hold don't take on. it off. <sighs> can we go- can I go back? Girl, you're freaking out. Calm down. Casey, I need you to be strong for Jason. Or else Sit he's going to die. I assure him that everything's going to be okay. Okay? Okay. Please. I, I can't give him what he needs. Please, help. I can't lose him. All right, Forrest, we need to hurry. Jason doesn't sound like he's doing too well. You said you knew who to call earlier? Who was it? Oh, the John guy. We need to call John Hedges. He lives on Nancy Drive. He didn't really participate in the first aid training, but he's a former war medic. He's probably the most trained person we have. Really? I never really spoke to him before. A war medic, huh? Yeah, and according to Reggie's notes, John keeps all of his old equipment at his house. He's something of a hoarder. All right. What's his number? Uh, five four two zero seven three five. John, it's Forrest Nash here at KFAM. We have an emergency and we need your help. Forrest, if this is a work emergency, then I can wait until the goddamn morning. Just leave me a note like everybody else. Uh. A man has been stabbed by the whistling man, or. Never mind. He's lost a lot of blood and he's passed out. We need you to help him. The whistling man? What kind of joke is this? Bro, just John, go to him! I'm not kidding. <laughs> a man is gonna die if we don't help him right now. Seriously, I, I... I haven't been called on for over ten years. Where's the patient? What's his condition? He's at 25 Nancy Drive. 
I think we got his friend to stem the bleeding, but he's gone into shock. He's passed out right now. You say he was stabbed? Do you know the extent of his injuries? From what we were told, he has two major stab wounds. Yes. One to the stomach and one to the leg. Oh my god, the please get there! His leg, and the stomach wound is open. Understood. Grab a few supplies and I'll head right over. Damned if he dies on my watch. Thank you, John. We'll let him know you're on your way. Good luck. Hello, Casey. Are you there? How are we doing? Bad. Jason seemed really weak and then just started thrashing. What about now? Is he still thrashing? He's passed out. Please tell me you found someone to help. Casey, help is on the way. My colleague will be there soon. Oh my god, please hurry up. Or did he I'm guessing that's Jason there. Casey, I'm gonna need your help. Forrest, Peggy, don't you two worry. We've got this from here. Oh okay. thank god. <laughs> Forrest, we'll call you back later. I have to go now. Good luck, everyone. God, I hope he's gonna be alright. <sighs> and with that, the show moves on. We're sending our best wishes to Jason. Can I go back? Well, after all that excitement, I think we could use some music. Uh, come back upstairs when you're ready. I'm ready now. Get me the hell out of here. Oh, shit. Not the basement. <laughs> I don't want to go back down there. getting pretty late. This might be your last break for the night, so try to enjoy it. Give me a buzz when you want to go back on air. Yeah, technically I saved two people. Let's, right, let's roll. Go. You got it. We've got another call coming through, too. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Oh, we have another call coming in. But, hang on. What's up, Peggy? What? What? Peggy? Hello? You're gonna want to take this call off the air. Who is it? Just do it. All right, folks, it's time for another track. Here's one to help you sit back and relax. We'll be right back after this. Uh, I hope this is good news, Peggy. Who have we got? Find out for yourself on line one. She sounds excited. Hello? <gasps> Leslie! Sounds like it's been a busy night, huh? Surprise! It's Leslie, our 911 operator, leading the charge from Henderson to come save us. It's so good to hear from you. Are you okay? I am. I'm driving back with an officer from Henderson now. Just one? Radio range a little while ago. You went all the way over to the next town and you only brought one officer with you. There's a serial killer on the loose and you brought one cop. Oh my god. I'm listening in. <laughs> I haven't been able to get through it till now. Uh, it's been non-stop since you left. Please tell us you're bringing help. You bet. I'm leading a whole goddamn squad towards Gallows. Oh, thank god. I thought she only brought one cop. I was like, that's so stupid. The phone lines. They had no idea what was happening. That's great news. That's crazy about the phone lines. Do you think the whistling man cut them? I'm guessing so. I don't know how he, how she, how the whistling man did it. But that doesn't matter right now. Listen, we're coming in hot, but we need your help. I know Gallows Creek isn't a big town, but if we don't know where the whistling man is, we can't get him. Her. That's where you come in. Okay. You can count on us. What do you need? It might be a long shot, but here goes. Whistling man already called up a few times. I bet she calls again. We're yeah, she probably will. She's out of town, so if she calls, stall her. Buy as much time as you can for us to get in. 
And while you're talking to her, try to figure out where she is. We'll be listening in, so once her location is known, we'll head straight there and end this nightmare. I'll do my best. I know. I'm gonna kill somebody. <laughs> I can see the headlines now. Forrest Nash's interview of a lifetime. Anyway, I'll radio the other cars and tell them the plan is a go. Hopefully the next time I see you, it'll be with our killer behind bars. God, I hope so. I'm not fit for this job. We'll see you soon, Leslie. Oh, thank God. It sounds like this is almost over. We're nearly through this. All right. That's nice to think, Peggy, but I don't reckon Dawn is going to give up without a fight. She probably won't give up without a fight, no. But neither will we. Now, let's get you back into the arena, champ. When you're ready, shut the music off. Bringing you back live now. Welcome back to the stream with me, Forrest Nash. I still love the that he's committed to his like but radio I voice. Next caller, I just want to say things are looking up. It's almost over. But for now, let's bring in our next caller. Evening caller, this is Forrest Nash. Hello, Forrest. This is John Hedges. I'm here with Casey. I wanted to give you an update on Jason. John, is it? Killer is he ambush okay? the police or he's somehow. Fired. Got him stabilized and resting in a bed. We're preparing to move him to the hospital. Thank you so much. If you hadn't been there, then... God, I don't even want to think about what would have happened. Of course, Casey. We're just happy he's okay. I got the soundboard John, Casey, ready. you two did all the work. Tell Jason to get well soon from us. Whatever he's up for. Why don't you tell him yourself? 16. Miss Forrest? Uh... Jason, we meet at last. It's good to hear you, Jason. How are you? Oh, well, you know, I've got a hole in my stomach. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I know. a knife in my leg, but John gave me something to take the edge off. So, I might feel even better than either of you. <laughs> Take it easy until you get to St. Gabriel's. that I I needed to call you I'm guessing the whistling man is still out there yeah why do you ask yes the whistling man's still out there why do you ask you know something about the whistling man don't you yeah I do what you talk about what happened earlier go for it Casey said when you were attacked your assailant said something like it's not so funny now do you know what they meant I do I've heard that voice every day in my head for almost 20 years. Every day? Does the killer live in Gallows Creek? No. Not exactly. Hey, guys, I'm really sorry, but there's a call on the other line. I just need to make sure we don't have another situation brewing. You fill Jason in on what happened. I'll be right back. Forrest, have you ever heard of somebody called George Barrow? The yeah. boy who drowned? Yeah, the kid. Sounds like everything's finally coming out now. It's been tough to hold it all in. Sounds like you've been holding back about something awful, Jason. I'm part of the reason my best friend is dead, Forrest. And the few who knew about it said if I ever said anything, I'd find myself in jail for a long time. It was hell. And then the town just moved on like he'd never existed what happened that night I went along with the stupid prank again the pranks whistling night some of the guys on the football team had an idea for a way we could haze the newcomers but we decided to plan a party in the woods where did Peggy go she's taking another uh, call is what she said man crashes it was stupid had a roll. I was the damn it. <laughs> friend. Oh, so you were pretend that, that you were her. I left the group for a second. Met our whistling man. Pretended to get stabbed in front of everyone. Started an almighty panic. Those screams. That was the last time I saw or heard George alive. 
How did George die, Jason? I don't know. I was playing dead. But when I heard her scream... Her? Yeah. George's girl. Do you remember who she was? Yeah. He called her Bean. Is that Dawn? The girlfriend? Her She's getting revenge? Her name was... What? What happened? Are we still on air? No. No, we're not. Seems like the power is completely gone. How do we get it back on? I don't... Uh... Oh, we can use the emergency... No! Why is it always the basement, you Let's fucking... A while ago, in case you ever needed to do an emergency broadcast. An emergency broadcast? Oh, my God. War, alien attack, broadcasting a serial killer's location to the cops so we can end this nightmare? Fair point. It's in the storage area in the far back corner, up on the wall. You might have spotted it earlier when you were digging around for all those tapes. Oh my god, no! I know where it is, but like, why? Once again, why do I have to do it? Oh my god, bitch, I'm gonna die. Why is it me? Like, can't she come with me? Maybe Peggy is in on it? I feel like she is. Like, I don't trust her. My fucking god, bro. I don't like this. I hate this. I'm gonna- Oh my god! Oh, this is so creepy. Yeah, great. Huh. Far back corner. Why is this station so big? That's what I'm asking. Far back corner. Where exactly again? Oh my god, I can't- <laughs> Fuck! Stop! Stop it! Stop making noises! Whoever that is. This thing? That must be it. Boom! We've got power! The whistling man. I need to warn Peggy. What the fuck? That's why they wanted to turn the power off so they could get in. Right? The fuck do I get out of here? What the fuck was that noise? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Peggy? What the hell? <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. No, no. I have a wrench. I will throw it at you. Oh, no. Peggy, where'd you go? Ah! No way. This can't be happening. Call. Where's Peggy, Don? Have some patience, Forrest. It's almost the end of the night. Almost the end of the show. But it's not over just yet. <laughs> We've got a little time still. So let's make the most of it. What do you mean? Make the most of it how? Well... Huh? I thought we'd end tonight's Whistling Man special with a special guest. The one who started it all. Oh, uh, let me take that out of your mouth and... You crazy bitch! Let me go! Welcome to the air. That's not Dawn! That's Peggy! That's Peggy! Cause she- that's the mayor! The mayor's the one who started this shit! And remember, Peggy hates the- the guy who's running for a mayoral candidate. Teddy? The guy with a stupid ad? It's him! This is Peggy. This is Peggy right here. 
Wait. It's all gonna come out tonight, Teddy. Your daddy and his money saved you 20 years ago. But even if he crawled out of his coffin with all the money in the world... Wait, where the hell is Teddy? How, how are you talking to him if you're here with me? Because I'm not there with you, Forrest. I'm here with Teddy. And if he says where that is... Well, yeah, yeah, it's, it's Peggy, it. it's not... Wait, then... Who am I looking at? Forrest Nash, let me introduce you and all of Gallows Creek to my boy, Henry Barrow. Wait, what? Your son? You mean what? you... Wait, that, that he... Yes, Forrest. He and I had a son. So there were two whistling men tonight. Yo, okay, I was right about that. Of there course. was two guys. That explains how you were always able to get around town so quickly. Hang on. Did you say... Barrel? That... Are you... Let me just get this mask off. Damn uncomfortable thing. No wonder Mooney went crazy wearing this. This 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 feels like a, a scream sex. Marie <laughs> Campbell, George's old girl. Oh, well, it sure has been years since I last saw. Oh, God damn it! Oh, um. Where are you going with all of this? Everyone's gonna know now what Teddy did. He killed George that night. This night. 20 years ago. Listen to me. Her name's Marie, right? Did you see that card? It said, it said, happy, happy birthday, Peg, from M. You, ah. You're gonna talk when I talk to you. And not a moment. Do you see that? Love M. Who's M? Is that her? Oh, sorry. I considered having you help me blow this whole thing wide open, but you didn't really sell yourself too well tonight. What are you going to do to me? I don't know where Peggy is. After all those calls tonight, do you really need to ask? Henry, honey, he's all yours. Hey. What? Wait a minute. Back off. Don't come any closer. No, 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 no. I'll let Peggy know you asked about her before I send her your way. No, no, it's okay. No, it's okay. It's okay. No, thank you. No. No, thank you. The fuck? Wait, is he coming this way? Am I gonna die? No, please. people that I got killed. <laughs> At least save two people. Wait, was there an epilogue to this? Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let, wait, 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 wait. I want to look this up. I'm actually very curious. So, like, the ending... Who is Peggy to Marie? That's what I want to know. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Um. I'm so confused. What's the good ending? You know what I'm saying? Like... 
Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I could have survived. The reason why he killed me is because I got a bunch of people killed, you know? So obviously I got the bad ending. And I just kind of went with it. Because <laughs> I just have like, fuck it, whatever. Um... Let's see. Here's a, the end. Is, I'm, I'm, I'm just looking up if there's like any anyone like uploaded a video on it so we can like look at it. Is it her sister? I don't know. They're related somehow. Unless it's her mom. Because remember her mom remarried? She said that. Well, no. Her parents died. It has to be a rela related to her. Like her sister or something like that. Hang on. Hang on. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I'm 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 looking up right now. Hang on. Oh, here we go. I think this is a different ending. Okay, we'll take a look at this one. Hang on. Hang on. Um. Talk me through what happened that night. Damn it. Where are you going with all of this? Everyone's gonna know now what Teddy did. He killed George that night. This night. 20 years ago. Listen to me. You... Ah! You're gonna talk when I talk to you. And not a moment before. Meanwhile, Forrest, I'm gonna give you the chance to talk. You're gonna help me reveal what really happened to George all those years ago. Okay, Marie. I'll do it. Good. Then let's talk about the night George was murdered. Okay. Murdered? Uh, listen, I... Damn! I said you speak when you're spoken to. Now, I know you've done some good work tonight in piecing together what happened to George 20 years ago. It's her I sister? Right, because she just left and never came back one day. Okay. If you say so, I'm not really in a position to argue. I'm happy we have your cooperation. Do a good job. Yeah, but it's like, where is she right now? You might be the only one to leave here alive. I need to drag this out. If I can buy Leslie time to get back to Gallows Creek and... If I can find out where Marie is, then this can end. Teddy, we'll start with you. Just, uh, talk me through what happened that night. How did it start? How would I know? It was 20 years ago. So? It doesn't matter? Do you want to die, Teddy? Because if you don't, start talking. <coughs> what the hell? God damn it. Okay, our first team party was coming up, and when I saw the date it was scheduled for, I had an idea for a way we could prank the new guys. I understand that kids in Gallows Creek know tonight as Whistling Night. I'm guessing that's what you mean? Well, we didn't have a name for it then. It was just a night that Mooney went missing. But Whistling Night is what they'd call it later. Wait. You mean this was the first Whistling Night? I, uh... Keep talking, Teddy. We went up near Whistling Point. Uh, God. Who was there? Me? Jason? Yeah, he mentioned George, that he was there. Of course. Uh, but George didn't come alone. Brought Marie. About okay. midway through the night, we put the prank into action. I looked up at the trees and saw Jason there, bloody, like he'd just been stabbed. And the whistling man <laughs> screaming. George and I and Ricky, we got left behind. Wait, Ricky was there? Roller Ricky? What the hell? Is that true, Teddy? Did you tell him? What? No, he... <sighs> you two were as close as anybody. I don't believe for a second you didn't tell him. If Ricky had told us, he just told us. He and 
George would both be alive still. Hmm. Well, if Ricky weren't dead, we could have heard his side of the story. It was just a stupid prank. Clearly not, dude. Hit him. <laughs> How can you still say it was just a prank? Oh, come on. I... Oh, God. And so tonight you stabbed him for real? It's the role he wanted to play. Jason's still alive, Marie. He was with a friend. We talked her through how to stop the bleeding. Don't tell her that! <laughs> professional help. Don't Just tell her that! Oh. Well, shame he didn't have the good sense to die earlier. He's gonna regret that. Enough about him. It was, um... Tell me. What happened Teddy, next? right? I'm assuming? I suddenly recognized... Oh, never mind. It's Chuck. It was Chuck. Chuck. Brody. Who's the whistling man? Laugh that dude that I... Way. I guess the gas station, I think? But then he stops. And he's looking up. At the top of Whistling Point. What was he looking at? Said it. What happened next? Nothing. I mean, it was just Teddy. George fell off whistling point. Fell off? Why'd he fall? Why'd he fall, Teddy? He just you pushed him. You were up there. You were dressed as the whistling man too, and I didn't push him. God damn it! I just chased him up there and. He kept backing up. When I saw he was about to go over, I reached out. That's what you saw. You liar. It's not my fault. He didn't know it was a Don't joke. say it's a... Dude, I'm going to punch this guy in the brain. face. Don't say it's a joke. You got someone alive. killed. Ugh. You bitch. No one's going to believe this. It's That's live on air. She's lying. Why She's taking cover? revenge that played a prank on her boyfriend 30 years ago who died. Yeah, and the father of her son. You know what it's like. People like us are bragged for bigger things. Dude, you should stop talking. Why is he still talking? And then, Governor. And then, who knows? What happened that night was tragic. It should never have happened. But it was a mistake. It was just a stupid joke gone wrong. So my father sent Clive out to clean it up. Why should have left? Lord, my. This guy sucks. George was a blip. That's an evil thing to say, Teddy. That's the way it is. is Teddy the true villain? Yeah. My father agreed with me. I mean, not saying he that Marie is right or anything, I but like... Right. Jogger found him the next morning, washed up on the river. Instead of telling the truth, she lied. She said she found him in the reservoir. Our jazz runner, Sandra Sharp. Yeah, that lady in the beginning. I learned why she lied now. Everyone was in on it, Forrest. Even the coroner wrote a fake report. Said George was drinking. Just got himself into trouble. And I saw. I'm I'm sorry. For all it's worth, Virginia didn't have much of a choice. Hold she up, then why did she try to kill the guy on the day? Yeah, that's another before. question. I don't know either. She played along with the gallows to save her sister's life. And her own. Like, what did that kid do? <laughs> Even still, she should have told the truth. But 
Grace Russell ah, that's the guy now. that sounds like J. Jonah Jameson. <laughs> when will the killing end, Marie? End? When does it end? You can't kill the world. This has to stop sometime. It has to. It never should have started. I mean, I agree. I'm not saying, like, he's right. It's coming to a stop. At least for now. Here. Where George and I first met. Before he joined your football team. Was right after he shot the winning throw. Wait a sec. The football field? Bro, why are you getting closer? What the hell? <laughs> yeah, yeah, remember they have to they have to stall so the cops can get to them. Field. Jesus Christ! Forrest, you idiot! We're in the chip at Gallows Creek High! I told you not to do that. Wait! <gasps> He's dead too now, isn't he? He is. Anyway, I think that about wraps up the Well, that answers, like, what happened with Teddy. So... Peggy! Teddy! Peggy, it's been so long since I've seen your face. I worried you wouldn't come. And here I was, thinking you'd forgot me. I'd never forget my own sister. You guys are right, the sister! Oh my god! Wait, so then, the, you know, though, every time she took a call and she was like, oh, I gotta get off the air, she's talking to her. Earlier, while you were speaking to Jason, got a call. You remember? Well, it was from Dawn. She said that my sister Marie was there that night George died. And that I should come to the gym for a reunion. And when you walked in, you found out. That my sister is the whistling man. Good to see you too, Peggy. Why didn't you tell me any of this? She said that it was my last chance to see my sister. I knew if I told you, you'd try to stop me or come with me when we need you on the radio. And I just... Uh, uh, so? I'm sorry. This has to be a lot for you. Oh my god. I just... What happened to you, Marie? You just disappeared one day. Disappeared? I was thrown out, Peggy. I begged Mom and Dad to do something about what happened that night. But did they care? No. They told me to stay quiet. They only cared when they learned I'd been with George. And, and she got pregnant, so they kicked her out. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I never knew. It's not your fault. Really, it's Mom and Dad I should be seeing right now. But since they're dead and gone, well... I'll have to settle for the next best thing. What? Don't. Marie, listen to me. You don't have to do this. Someone has to pay for it. Why kill your sister? Sorry. What does she do? Mom and dad are gone, Peggy. Besides, you forgot me. Girl, she did not forget you! What the fuck is wrong with her? Anyway, I can prove. The card, the card on the side, the card, the birthday card, whatever the hell it is. Oh my god. Wait. Never forgot you. Well. <gasps> Don't come. Bro, it was the birthday card. <laughs> Okay, wait, let me see if I can find the good ending. This guy fucked up. But we got the story at least for, like, um, Teddy and stuff. So let me see the good ending. I can't believe this guy screwed it up like that. Um, 
Dude, it's the card. Does anyone have the ending to this? But like, what I don't understand is like, why kill your sister? What is the point of that? She didn't she didn't know anything. She was a little kid when when you got kicked out. How is that her fault? Does anyone have the good ending for this? Because this game just came out yesterday, so I don't know if anyone actually does. Oh my god. Yeah, right? Peggy wasn't even involved. That's what the crazy thing is. Okay, here's one. Mentos gum comes in a durable paperboard gum bottle okay, that can on, handle guys. just about anything. But like, I, that's what I don't get. Yeah, it was the birthday card. Yeah, but I just, I just don't understand. Like, why kill your sister and she's innocent in all of this? That doesn't make any fucking sense to me. Okay, hang on. Um. Is that why you went after that kid in the maze maze? Yeah. Eugene Stein? Because his parents? That's right. Eugene's parents were there that night too. So she wanted to kill that kid, that stupid kid who was waiting for the date because his parents were involved. But how is that that kid's fault? Go to the parents! What the fuck is wrong with this lady? In a bus accident. Oh, right. He said that he, he doesn't it's have parents. Only their child was left. That Sorry. doesn't make any Please. sense, though. Gone, Peggy. I can okay. Shut. Here we go. Marie. Marie, Peggy never forgot about you. Keep your mouth shut. She kept a card from you. She, she kept it here on her desk. What card? Got it. So she's crazy. Yeah. The card you made me for my eighth birthday. What does it say? That's you. Happy birthday, Peg. Now you're great and eight. Love, Em. I... Well, I... Henderson Police! Freeze! Yeah! Henry! Get out of there! No, Yo, fuck that kid! Peggy! We have two wounded and we're in pursuit of the suspect. Henderson Police! Freeze! Forrest! Leslie! How's Peggy? She's been cut pretty bad, but... We're here now. Oh, thank God. She's okay. I'll be okay. God, Marie. Hey, Zara. I need you to look after Peggy. She needs help. Now. We got here just in the nick of time. Where's Marie? She bolted right as we got here. The police are right on her heels. It won't be and what about our fucking kid? It's over, Forrest. Is it, though? <sighs> Well, folks, it was a long night, but we <laughs> made it here together. I'm gonna head off to go check on Peggy. Forrest, this why are you still being a radio host? Nash. <laughs> and it's been a scream. <laughs> this fucking guy. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, the sun escaped. Like, what the hell? find the suspect anywhere i think she just escaped what the fuck okay well guys that's the end of that what'd you guys think i kind of left on a cliffhanger because like it doesn't there's no real do you think there will be another one probably i mean i i wouldn't mind i actually really like this game this game was actually a lot of fun it was fun it's just like i feel like a lot of the story you don't get a conclusion with the killer, she just escapes. There has to be a sequel with that. 
So the son of Marie, the serial killer, is alive because she escaped. Marie escaped. They never found her. Um, but we know who it is. Yeah, I, I guess they both escaped because, like, they ju the cops just said they didn't find them. I don't know. But I liked it. I really like this game. I hope you guys enjoyed it, too. Shout out to Team17 once again for giving me a copy of this game. This was a lot of fun. Obviously, there's different endings, and I totally screwed up the ending here because I killed everybody <laughs> except for two people. So, yeah. That was interesting. I'm kind of glad that I was suspicious of Peggy. So she was innocent, but she had a connection to the killer. That was pretty cool. And just, man, that was interesting though. That was pretty interesting. Oh my gosh. Anyway, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, Killer Frequency. Let me know what you guys thought of it. Also, leave a like on this stream if you guys want me to stream more often on YouTube. I know I don't really stream over here, but I wouldn't mind doing it once in a while. I could do another game. I was thinking of playing Amanda the Adventurer on here, so that might happen next week. I don't know. We'll see. But um, yeah, thank you guys for hanging out. Shout out to uh, the super chat earlier. Thank you so much for that. And uh, I will see you guys next time. I hope you all have a great night. And I'll see you all later. Bye!